an unmute. There we go. Everything is unmuted, so everybody can. Uh, we are now live. Uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> um, hello. Hello, hey. everyone out there in internet land. Uh, tonight we are going to be play playing a game called uh, Meddling Kids. That is uh, what we call it. Um, it is uh, Monster of the Week. Uh, based on the Powered by the Apocalypse system. Uh, Monster of the Week is by Michael Sands, so definitely check it out if you think uh, tonight's uh, festivities sound uh, intriguing. Um, so, uh, in Monster of the Week, we uh, each play a different um, type of TV trope from those Monster of the Week type shows, like Supernatural, Buffy, etc., etc., um, so around the table, we actually have uh, Mr. Jacob uh, at Friendly Plays. He plays Gabriel the Wronged. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, I play Gabriel the Wronged. I am, I'd say he's not as, mad, as much of a little dickhead anymore. He's kind of evolved and matured a little bit. A little as bit. He's, he's a still bit. a little asshole. Though. Like, he still thinks he knows right. better than everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, to be fair, he usually does. No. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, you want us to give little facts again? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Give your your fun fact. I don't have a fun fact this week. You don't have so a fun fact. So I would like fact. for you to okay. ask me or <clears throat> ask me, and I'll make something up on the spot. Okay. So the topic, dance. <laughs> he is first. First of all, his parents when he was five years old thought he was going to be a ballet dancer his parents thought he was going to do ballet like almost forced him to do it basically oh okay why uh, they wanted him to be a classically trained ballet dancer because it's what his grandma wanted from him because she used oh. to be a ballet dancer okay and, and she thinks i'm guessing the she artist... wanted a granddaughter and they yes. got yeah okay yes um, boys can be ballet dancers yeah, but it's not typically something like Tupac. that a, it's not yeah, true. It's not typically something that a nana wants for their grandson though. Uh she just wanted something to connect with them. Um Yeah, fair enough. More gotcha. so than anything. Um but since then he does not do ballet anymore. Word. He only okay. lasted about six weeks in ballet. But hmm. he became very obsessed with America's Best Dance Crew. But okay. like obviously he couldn't watch it because he didn't have cable, so he he's only seen clips of it. Okay, but he you. thinks he can dance like everybody in that. <laughs> so he's he's kind of like the the like middle school master of crump. Yep, exactly. Okay, got you exactly. Fair enough. He tries enough. to like, he tries to, like uh, he tries to be a b boy. Uh, yes. So what I'm hearing <laughs> yeah. here is that in the movie adaptation of this, it'll probably be like. Uh, uh, Channing Tatum who plays Gabriel. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Channing, fully grown adult Channing Tatum playing a 13 year old. <laughs> no, like they just say that this character is 13 and nobody questions it the entire film. He did play, he was, was 13. Like, he no. was in uh, 21 Jump Street as a teenager, so. Yeah. No, but that that's the whole joke of 21 Jump Street is that they don't look like teenagers at all. <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, next up, we actually have uh, Savannah, uh, who plays Kyle the Mundane. Um, so go ahead and introduce yourself and your, your character, Savannah. I play Kyle the Mundane. Uh, I don't have any real cool powers other than my unwavering spirit and dedication and um, an infinite amount of talent. Uh -oh. oh yeah, I can do attitude. Kyle can become anything he wants to. Um and just like that he uh has become a wonderful uh dancer due to practicing <laughs> like the arts of the tai chi um and such he is gotcha. like he is like a river. He flows and he moves to the beat, whichever way nature takes him. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Love Kyle. <laughs> Love that so much. Kyle um, has learned to dance as a as a necessity. <laughs> it's a, as a self it's another defense skill. tactic. <laughs> yeah, as a skill. In case somebody comes up to him, he likes to be able to have a defense for any situation that could arise. Um, so if somebody walks up to him and says, step up, he has to be able 
to provide <laughs> some type he's, of. He's a man of every talent. He, yeah, he's a jack of all trades, master of nothing. <laughs> I, I, I like... just imagine though that in the uh, like romantic comedy adaptation of this, like <laughs> have, he's the one that comes up and like saves the prom queen's dignity with. Uh, the prom king is being a jackass or something. They do Get this, your like, damn hands tango. off her. That whole thing. Just does this, like, intense tango with her. Like, mm-hmm. just takes her away from it. And it does this intense yeah. tango. And everybody's just like, Kyle can do that? <laughs> just, Kyle that's... would be dropping a dance battle right in the middle of prom and find, just like in prison, you find the biggest, toughest guy, you find the best dancer, and then he would dance mm-hmm. battle him. <laughs> and it, yeah. <laughs> dance battle for the ownership of the school like <laughs> <laughs> this is my turf step off and then it turns out Kyle he does was dance. the chosen one the whole time <laughs> <laughs> oh man Gabriel, that's Gabriel, amazing Gabriel and, Kyle, Gabriel and Kyle uh watch never back down or not never back down what was it step up together never back down is a totally different movie (laughs) (laughs) same shit just with fighting (laughs) what's the difference besides the fighting scenes and the dancing scenes yeah i mean one set the music (laughs) right uh okay and uh (laughs) moving right along uh so uh, did kyle share the fun fact in, in there or Kyle's fun fact is he's a sick dancer. Okay, gotcha. Like Jackie Chan levels of coordination. Word. So Fair he does enough. his little little wiggle dances. <laughs> wiggle dance. Yeah, kind of like Shaq. You know that shimmy Shaq? Yeah, 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 Kyle yeah. Kyle like a butterfly <laughs> and stings like a bee. <laughs> Quick feet. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Savannah. And, uh... Uh, down below my face, we have Travis, uh, who plays Leon the Spellslinger. That's at th cox uh, c o x five uh, th c o x five on Twitter. Go ahead with Leon the Spellslinger. Introduce yourself. Hey everybody! So Leon the Spellslinger, still uh, kind of new in town for some reason. He's found out that he has magic that he can sort of utilize and foster through the things that he's seen in like uh, fantasy movies and his D&D group and stuff like that. So I had a fun fact um, but since everybody's going with dancing, mm-hmm. I will just tell you Liam's not a dancer. He's <laughs> tried but he just looks like, it, it's been often said that he looks like he's like having an epileptic seizure. Oh no, poor kid. It's bad, he's got no rhythm. <laughs> he's got no rhythm. <laughs> no sense of spatial awareness like he gave his little sister a black eye at uh their aunt's wedding mm-hmm. gotcha except for the chicken dance the classic magical kid story bad at dancing <laughs> love it I'm sorry to be a stereotype <laughs> absolutely that's awesome so like Eventually, it's going to get to the point where uh, Leon uh, has studied, like, like the different kind of hand movements uh, that he needs for... Uh, oh, the hand movements from the Doctor Strange movies. He's basically, been he's, he's been, like, mastering up. that type of thing, and everybody just thinks he's, like, really good at, like, finger-tutting. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that whole, like, like dance thing where it's just, like... You, sliding your hands all around i can't do it i don't know why i'm trying but yeah just <laughs> fi- finger tutting uh like he's he's like oh this this actually this kind of works i can kind of shimmy my shoulders and finger tut my way through this situation um <laughs> i love that and at the same time he can be conjuring some sort of illusion or something to absolutely make think that he's dancing really well <laughs> I didn't know you could dance like that. I wasn't. This like sparkling charm kind of around him. It's like, oh, he dances ugly, but it's kind of endearing. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Oh my god, he's Napoleon Dynamite. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing? Did that just not land with anybody? Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. We were dancing like I was trying to remember the song. 
<laughs> think of the song for it. First song to pop in my head just now was Goodbye Horses, and that's not it. Is it? <laughs> I got the, do you remember? Do no. Band of Horses? There was a, what movie was Band of Horses in? That not song not Band of Horses. Funeral. Goodbye Horses was uh, the oh. song, Goodbye Horses was the song from, uh, from, uh, uh, uh Buffalo fuck. Bill. That's where uh, yeah. he kept his women Silence in a of the pit. Lamb. Silence of the Lambs. That's where he did his sexy dance. <laughs> Get the lipstick. Me. I'd me. You'd fuck me. <laughs> I'd fuck me. The better version <laughs> is uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, outside of the movies. <laughs> love it. So, I uh, reining things back in. I... Uh, Let's get started with tonight's episode of Meddling Kids, an Adolescent Monster of the Week adventure. Right on. So uh, I've got us back here and uh, letting the uh, letting the recap roll here. Um, last episode, uh, we had uh, Gabriel, Kyle, and Brighton um, alongside uh, their mentor, trainer, and librarian, Lydia Schultz. <laughs> um, uh, and, I don't know and, why that's so funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, alongside Deputy Reese, two former members of the Refuge uh, Extra uh, Refuge Extra Normal Assistance Division R E A D. Um. So, uh, the five of these people uh, discovered that there were uh, a horde of three hundred or so zombies on their way into town. And they had to uh, essentially put a stop to this this uh, slowly crawling forward horde. Um, when they got out there, Ooh, they discovered that slowly crawling <laughs> horde. Yeah, love that. Um, new wrestling name. <laughs> <laughs> the three of us will make like a wrestling crew, and yeah. we'll be the the slowly crawling horde. Love it. Um, yeah. So I uh, with this uh, horde moving in on on refuge and i uh, the crew i uh, kind of pulled together made a plan to use some fireworks to distract and point them in the direction of the quarry uh that was frozen over uh they ended up uh you know being driven over the edge of the quarry and uh we lost a police jeep uh in the uh in, in the lake but everybody got out pretty much unscathed except for gabriel who has a sizable infected bite from a zombie uh in his neck meat um so yeah that's that's where we're at now the zombies have been officially defeated but gabriel is in a bad way um he's getting worse feeling, by right? the minute Dude, you're getting worse by the minute. Uh, you are sweating, can barely stand. In fact, uh, Lydia and uh, and Reese have both got um, it, like your arms kind of uh, around them, and they're trying to help you. Like, am I like close to passing help. out? Um, I wouldn't say you're quite at that point yet. It's just you're you're feeling very faint for sure. Okay, I want to say I want to say so. Ms. Schultz and uh, per, doc, prof, police officer Reed. Uh, I was Deputy to think Reese. Of Deputy Reese. Yeah. So, uh, I don't feel so good. Oh no. I, I don't want to go. <laughs> don't you Spider Man me right now? Uh, <laughs> heartbreak. Um, so standing at the cliffside of this frozen quarry, zombies sinking beneath the surface and getting trapped under the thick layers of ice. We see Deputy Reese and Miss Schultz, uh, the badass school librarian, each with an arm uh, around their shoulders, holding up our friend Gabriel, obviously in the, in in a bad way. 
And trailing behind the trio there is uh, Brighton, who is currently locked in a dead-eye stare into the middle distance, and Kyle, who is shepherding him forward, uh, quickly retreating away from the edge of the quarry. And uh, we hear Reese say, <clears throat> Come on, Lid, we, we gotta get him to Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm can either help fix this, or he can point us in the right direction. So, um... What is is uh, Kyle doing at the moment? Just checking in with Kyle. What was Kyle doing when he left? Just walking away. Uh, yeah, trying. You were essentially like you. I was still. Were, I was still in shock with the, being forced to have to deal with water. Yeah. And thinking that yeah. I almost died. Yeah. In knee deep water, or that I almost killed Reese in knee deep water. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a solid save by uh, Friendly. Uh, last episode that was so good just like because <laughs> here at meddling kids we have a homebrew rule because we're playing teenagers in a uh, tv trope society um we uh have a homebrew rule called the one f because every pg-13 movie has the permission to have one f word in it so at any point in time uh one of the players can adjust that uh, adjust the scene by using the one F. It carries that much weight and it carries that much significance that a character can say the F word one time during the episode and it it changes things. It, it'll it'll affect the scene. And uh, Gabriel, say, or rather friendly, uh, saved Deputy Reese's life because he was about to slip beneath the ice through some, uh, you know, slip through some cracked ice. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, friendly decided that, uh, Reese was going to just crack through the ice. Yes. But he was going to hit solid ground, uh, at about thigh level. Um, so yeah, right on. So, uh, Kyle is currently shepherding, uh, Brighton away from the edge and just kind of trailing along. Yeah. I would say that Kyle is still reckoning with, uh, mortality. And having to confront his deepest fear, which is the bottom of that quarry and all gotcha. that water and nearly dying. Yeah. So he's trying to like save face and be <clears throat> the tough little boy that he is. <laughs> but he's still like, oh my God, I was so close. I was so close to being my, gone. <gasps> my pant, my pant legs are wet. Not happy about that one. Moist jeans. <laughs> Um, okay, so, um, yeah, you guys start getting, uh, back toward, uh, out of the woods through toward the main road, and, um, Kyle, you go, go back and get your bike, uh, Gabriel, uh, I'm sure that Kyle's gonna put, uh, your penny board, uh, into, like, the, the crate that is bungee corded to his handlebars, um, I appreciate that. so, uh, yeah, everybody's kind of moving on forward, and, um, yeah, as you guys get back to the main road and get up that hill, um, you guys start making your way back to that payphone, and Reese uh, calls a friend, and uh, eventually, uh, like a, a pickup truck pulls up, and you guys are able to get into the back, um, and you guys start heading toward uh, toward Malcolm's. You presume. Anybody want to do anything while you're in the back of this truck? Uh, am I gaining any more harm as this goes on? Uh, you're not gaining any more harm necessarily, but you are unstable. Okay. So without treatment, you will be gaining more harm. Okay. Okay. I have like one harm tick left. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you're 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 it, like I said, you're in a bad way. Yeah. Um, and and unless something is done, death is imminent. So. Um, well, what I'm going to be doing mm -hmm. is trying not to die. Word. Okay, so you're going to be sitting comfortably and um, just focusing as much as you can on living. Cool. He has a jewel. He has a jewel in his hand. And and I'm going to cannon it that Lydia and Reese are just letting him jewel at this point. <laughs> right next to like, him, he's about to die. Like, the look on Brighton's face is just, like, into the middle distance, not looking at anything. He's just like... 
just staring at the the bite wound that is like part way down your neck. Um, he's just staring at it, and then it, he doesn't say anything. But uh, if anybody knew that here, anybody knew here, Brighton and Gabriel are cousins. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they Brighton and Gabriel are are cousins. Yeah. Um. So. Um. You guys get dropped off uh, out of this the back of this truck. This truck pulls up to a um, to a, a, a kind of a gate in a big chain link fence uh, with barbed wire around the top. Um, and you guys kind of go through the gate in this fence, and you guys are at um, what looks like a scrapyard. Uh, and I. This isn't, uh, by the way, you're, you're, uh, Gabriel, you would not recognize the scrapyard as Bobby's dad's okay. scrapyard. Um, this is, uh, like, j- this is just a, a different, like, junkyard. This isn't, like, usable parts. This is where, like, um, actual junk. It's actual junk. It's, it's just a place to store shit. Yeah. yeah. So, Thank um, you. yeah, you guys start heading in this, into this, this kind of, like, stacks of crushed cars and like just bags of trash and all that kind of stuff. And you guys start heading through this, um, this, this, uh, to this open area. And then you see like, uh, kind of, it looks like a half buried, um, shipping container, like a big metal shipping container. Um, and it's kind of half buried kind of, uh, into the ground so that the doors will open like like basement doors. Right. Um, so, uh, you guys make your way up and Reese kind of <laughs> bangs on those doors. Um, and you wait a moment and uh, the latch kind of flips open and gets the door gets pushed aside and you guys see this man wearing... No discernible, no shirt at all. He's just like bare chesting it out with a kind of a tattered, like wool coat, like a, like a kind of a, a knee length pea coat, um, a literal tin foil hat, uh, with a beanie pulled down on top of it, with the little antenna poking through a hole in the beanie, uh-huh. um. And the man's not wearing any, he's wearing shoes, but there's no soles to the shoes. So it's just like shoe tops. Um, and he opens this and he has this kind of wild look in his eyes and he goes, Oh, Reese, what can I do you for? Gabriel looks at this man. Oh, he looks bad. Looks at Lydia, looks at Reese. And then just says, I'm going to fucking die. Or I'm gonna freaking die. What's going on? Um, and I, uh, Reese says, um, uh, you gotta let us in. Uh, there's, there's, we're kind of in a bad way here, and um, meet the newest member of Reed. Um, <clears throat> well, one of them, and he kind of like throws a thumb backward, pointing at the other two that are following behind. And he goes, oh, I thought you guys quit that club. Hmm. Oh, well, come on in. And uh, they, they take you inside and uh, they lay you down on. Um, it's it's a waterbed, but it's not full of water. It's like it's like the the casing for a waterbed that is just kind of stuffed with like old pillows and <laughs> stuff like that. It's. Yeah, it's just kind of like he, he took a knife and, and slashed the back of it and just stuffed it with stuff to make his own mattress. Like a mattress hot this dog. The, yeah. This is the worst visual you ever given. Like, yeah. I. Uh, it reminds me of Master Yoshi or Master Roshi and Bobby Singer mixed together. <laughs> so, I uh, he, he takes yeah, you from um, like, you guys see that like if looking down. In the shipping container, you see that there are stairs built into the floor of it so that you can kind of walk your way down into, it looks like a long tube made out of shipping containers that have been buried underground. 
Um, so it's kind of like this guy has his own bunker. Um, so he walks down into, uh, into kind of this, this long open area and you see like this, this, uh, mattress made out of pillows stuffed into a water, uh, water, uh, bed mattress. And then, um, beyond that, you see, um, kind of a, uh, like, like a couple of jugs of water and some food off to the side and stuff like that. And then you, you also see a, um, a treadmill and a rowing machine. You know, like where you sit down and you actually like you have the weights that you pull. So, um, yeah. Uh, so this this guy brings you inside, lays you on this bed, and uh, he says, "Well, it's a pretty nasty bite there." Um, hmm. And uh, it's like, yeah, we um, we had a run in with um, some of Wayne's minions. I guess I don't I don't really know how to describe it. zombie bite. It's a, it's a magically, like, necromancer zombie bite. And he goes, well, why'd you bring him here? Well, we figured you would know something. You, like, that's kind of what you do. You know things, right? It's like, well, they do call me Malcolm the Diviner. Or they would if they knew about me. <laughs> and he's going to go over to uh, Gabriel and, like, start, um kind of generally poking at the wound. Um, and it's, it's deeply uncomfortable, uh, mm. both because this man is infinitely smelly. Um, of course. and also because he probably hasn't washed his hands since the late sixties. <laughs> and also because you're generally in pain. Um, right. and you can feel this, like this sickly heat, creeping down from your neck and into your chest and into your back uh, and down your arm. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is generally spreading and it hurts. It just, it, there is nothing else in your life right now, but pain. Okay. So, um, I scream. Yeah, no, he's like, like fucking freaking stop, dude. What are you yep, doing? Yep. That makes sense. Okay. So, Here's what I'm going to do. Be right back. And he's going to walk away and he's going to go start digging through cabinets and stuff like that. And just getting an arm full of different herbs and stuff. Um, so. Um, it's at this point that uh, Lydia is going to take out her phone because she now has reception and she's going to text Leon the address of where they're at. Um, because Leon was. um was essentially she knew because she's a teacher uh that Leon was supposed to be back at school uh today so she's she's letting him know where you guys are at and where you guys are probably going to be for a little while so um Leon you're you're receiving that text now okay cool um and it'll take Leon about from the school to here about like 20, 25 minutes. Um, if he, unless. if he rides his bike, yeah, unless, unless he tries the teleportation spell, unless he does, tries to teleport, uh, are, are you going to try to teleport? Do, do they tell me like what's going on? Like that they're, uh, um, that he's yeah, hurt? it's a very short message. Um, it just says, uh, it just says that, uh, like, uh, here's where we're at. Um, and it's, uh, it just says read meeting Gabe is hurt. Okay. So yeah, he's going to try that spell. Okay. So you're going to try the teleport. Um, let me see here. Um, this wouldn't be an alternate weird move. So this is just use magic, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see here. Because uh, to inflict harm, to do one thing that is beyond human limitations, bar a place to, or a portal to a... Okay. Um, 
So what effect here in the use magic are you thinking you want to try to use? Okay, so I just reread the list. Yeah. Could I try to summon a monster as a steed to uh, take me where I need to go? You absolutely can. Uh, so, first of all, uh, what monster are you trying to summon as a steed? Okay, now that's the question. Uh, what did Gandalf ride in on? Oh, Shadow Facts. Not shadow facts. What was it? Was it a big moth that carried him away? A big bird? It, it was, was a giant the, eagle. The birds. Oh, the eagles. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So. Don't be shy. Call on a hippogriff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to remember. Do you remember? I'm just, I'm thinking something no. generic, like a unicorn. Okay, excellent. So, uh, <laughs> something run in the mill. Yeah, just <laughs> totally something generic, like a unicorn. I'm just going to ride this I down. I don't want to turn any heads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, so. <laughs> they're supposed to be fast and powerful and helpful. Absolutely. And low uh, profile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, go ahead and roll to use magic. So, uh, just for... An 11. An 11? Sick. Just for an 11. Anyone, anyone who, who uh, doesn't know the Monster of the Week system, um, Monster of the Week, I don't roll any dice. I am the... Oof. Uh, I am the keeper of... Uh... Okay, thanks, bud. Uh... No, not you. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. You're good. So I am the keeper of um, of the lore. Uh, and what I do is I don't roll any dice. I am purely reactionary to the um, to the the whims of the players. Um, I kind of like set up what the world is doing generally. And then these guys come in and their entire jam is to wreck my shit. Um which I absolutely adore because then I get to write new shit. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, go ahead. And, and you rolled an 11 on use magic. Uh, so you get to, to absolutely, you summon uh, this, you summon this um, creature from uh, another plane of existence, uh, from your own imagination, I'm going to say. It's like just the world of D&D &D that lives in your brain. Um, and as it is summoned into the real world, you, you take it like, uh, like a unicorn D&D &D mini that you have, and you focus on it, and it... You, you kind of like blink and then you shift a little bit and you're just holding the base and standing in front of you is the unicorn that was on that D and D mini base. And then the magic of, of this world starts to shift and change and swirl around it. And then suddenly sta like standing in front of you is It's it's a motorcycle that has a kind of a unicorn like headlight looking thing on it. It it so you you now have a, a motorcycle in front of you. That that is sentient. It's it's a it's a living creature, but it's not going to look as obvious. Bring in some real. Red. Sorry, you guys were both <laughs> talking at the same time. What's up? Sorry. Go ahead. I was saying, thirteen year old riding a motorcycle, not inconspicuous at all. Hey man, weirder stuff happens out here in the boonies. That's fair. So you essentially have a unicorn dirt bike. Very nice. Okay. Sick. He uh So you like, hop on and it takes off. You don't have to switch gears, you don't have to do anything. You just kind of like think where to go and it goes. Okay. Can the thing speak and can I be the voice? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, so this is definitely it, it, what, how it would go down. Yeah, because uh, unicorns are sentient creatures. So yeah, go for it. 
he'd jump on this thing mm-hmm. and he would like say to it he would quote from the Lord of the Rings run shadow facts and show them the meaning of haste <laughs> and the motorcycle definitely responds you know I'm a unicorn not not shadow facts right <laughs> <laughs> Does the unicorn call you a dork? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Dork. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm here by some dork. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Nerd. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, Leon, you're going to take about, like, now on the back of this dirt bike, you can cut through... Um, like cut through some fields on the way there. I uh, kind of ride through the woods a little bit. There are some back roads trails that you're familiar with. Um, and you can get there in like half the time. So it's going to take you like 10 minutes to get there. Checking back in, in the bottom of the, uh, of the bunker. Um, you guys, uh, like, like Malcolm comes back and he's got an arm full. Of, he's got like a, like an expired Mayo jar, um, he's got like a, a fistful of, uh, what just looks like dry rosemary. Um, he might be making a sandwich. You don't know. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to, uh, take the, uh, mayo jar and open it up and take a big whiff of it and go, Hurr! and he's going to like take the, the twig and like kind of crunch it up and then put it into the jar, shake it up. And then he's going to take a, um, he's going to take like some, other like liquid you don't even know what it is it's just kind of an orange liquid it might be gatorade you don't have any idea but he's just gonna like squeeze it uh into like out of a bottle into this uh this kind of like goop liquid that he's got in his hand he's gonna rub it together and then he's going to smear it over the uh over the wound and uh when he does that. what's that how does it feel when he does that stings like a bitch but you can feel that like the you can feel that like it, it stops crawling as quickly through you. It's still like moving forward, but it, it's slowing it down. Right. He essentially gave you just like a magical mix vapor rub made out of garbage. Oh yeah. Um Brighton is just like sitting across the room and he's still just like staring at you with dead eyes and he's just like Just, just, Gimmer, just vacant. I'm gonna look back at Brandon and be like, can, can I help you? <laughs> and he's just gonna turn away and, and just, he doesn't know what to do. He's, he's just stunned. He's in shock. Also, I, I totally meant earlier that uh, Gabriel was cousins with Leon, not Brighton. Yeah, okay, got you. Um... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I, I I was like I forgot about that, but it's I, I forgot Brian. about it because it didn't exist. Right. Uh, <laughs> Leon, Brian, um, it's all so close together. It's, it's a bunch of nerds. Uh, anywho, um, it's like which one of my which one of you am I family with again? Like, <laughs> so um, we're all cousins now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, Malcolm is gonna turn back to uh. Like while he was going to get stuff, um, and he's like just kind of mumbling to himself, and he's uh, gonna like do the thing with the the smear, and he's gonna turn back to to Lydia and to Reese and say, ah, "Well, I slowed it down, but you say that he was um affected magically, um, hmm." It, it seems to me that the, the cure for, for this, this whole thing isn't going to be, um, uh, going to, uh, going to be, uh, magical. He needs a magical cure. He needs, uh, there's, there's a couple of different options. See, uh, you can either, uh, it's, it's necromancy in nature, so you can either find the necromancer and put him down or convince him to stop. Uh, you can, um, hmm. Where's my notes? Here we go. Um, the it'll stop when uh, when uh, the 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 kid here is a uh, uh, when he's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get, then. It. Uh, we get it. And then uh, yeah, 
Oh, I didn't know he could hear me. Hmm? Whoops. Um, and uh, he's like, oh, what about some other magical means? So, uh, can I have a conversation with Reese? Absolutely. You can kind of like grab Reese by the and Miss kind of the, 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 the You can grab them both and say, I just can't. Hey, can you guys come here for a second? Sure, go for it. Both of you. I need to talk to you. Yeah, Kyle, what's going on, bud? Who's Malcolm? Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, um, Malcolm is. And they're gonna kind of like look, look at each other, and uh, no, 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 don't look at each other. Look okay. at me. Keep your eyes focused. You're an educator. Your job is to teach. You're a cop. Your job is to protect and serve. Start doing your jobs. Who's Malcolm? Okay, you're right. Malcolm is, um, our former mentor. He was actually the gym teacher at uh refuge back when we were back when we were kids um he's the one who brought us into the fold and he uh he he's no he he calls himself malcolm the diviner because he uh can see the future uh he can he can go into a certain state of being and read the possibilities of the future by reading the ley lines under refuge. He reads the so flow. how did he become evil? Why did he go from reading ley lines like a dog to killing, trying to kill me and my friends oh, in this town? sorry, you ask who is Malcolm? Malcolm's the, the guy here. Uh, Wayne... Oh, Wayne, Wayne is the sorry. necromancer. You're good. You're good. You're good. So um, they give you that explanation, and they're like, "Oh, Wayne! No, Wayne is he is a, another one of us. Um, he was a, a spell slinger before. He was like, kind of like Leon, um, except he he dealt more in in the flare of things, uh, where Leon does mostly, like, ice stuff. Wayne did things with, like, healing magic, and did things with, uh, with fire a lot. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, but people don't just wake up and decide to be evil, so what happened? Well, um... This isn't something I really like to talk about, but, uh, when... Well, I don't like watching my friend yeah. be eaten by zombies. Officer. <laughs> um, when they, um, when a certain classmate of ours got, when, when a certain classmate of ours died from being pushed off an unsafe cliff of the quarry, uh... Wayne got obsessed with making things right, and he doubled down on his magic. And um, and this is Reese talking, so he says, um, you know that same reason that I gave up Reed to become an officer of small town law is because the sheriff's department at the time was lazy and they ruled the death an accidental death, and it clearly wasn't. There were more than enough witnesses to to say otherwise. Um, but the bully that pushed that kid, he was, uh, quote-unquote, a good kid, and he also was the sheriff's nephew. So I don't know what I... I, I don't know what I could have done to, to prevent it, and I know that I couldn't undo it once it had been done, and... But I could try to rein in the normal folks with their normal problems. Like bullying and whatnot. So, maybe I could make a difference when the monsters that I faced were kind of regular folks. But Wayne, he went the other way. His guilt drove him away from everyone else until he eventually he left without really saying goodbye. And that's the, the explanation that you get. Uh, 
Wayne was a former member of Reed. And it's so we're around, gonna around now, right? <clears throat> What's that? Gabe's gonna pipe up. Did Gabriel hear all this? I'd assume. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like you guys are in a shipping container. He can hear each other. So, so Gabriel's gonna pipe up after Reese has this like real emotional talk and says, "So we're killing him next, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's been okay. on the to do list have... for a while. And then Leon, this what? is when you pull up. Okay, but first point of order. Mm-hmm. How many monsters have been thrown in the quarry? How many monsters have been thrown in the quarry? Yeah, because like you just mentioned that they were at a quarry fighting a monster when somebody died. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, the reason and then that we fought that horned serpent at the quarry. Yeah, uh... and you guys drove all the zombies into the quarry, like. Is this just have a bottom layer of monsters under there? Um, okay. So first, the horn serpent uh didn't he he lived in the quarry but wasn't uh, but didn't die there. He actually turned to ash. Uh Oh, in, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, outside of the quarry, um in the, kind of the parking lot area because that's what, as far as you guys got uh before he <laughs> attacked. Uh and then uh this the reason that uh, Reese and Wayne and the reason that Reed broke up in the first place um, back when uh, Reese and them were kids was because um, because of a, a normal like a normal people issue. It wasn't the monsters that weighed too heavily on them. It was the fact that people are the worst monsters. Gotcha. Okay. I just want uh, Q, I want you to know yeah. that Gabriel is over the moon with himself right now. Why is that? He got an officer of the law to admit that he's going to murder somebody in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can die happy. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 he's like, I've done it. Awesome. <laughs> I, I can nice to start rubbing off the piece. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, and like Reese sees you like reach your hand up to like start poking at it and he goes I guess like hey stop that stop you're going to you're going to infect it worse a zombie bike's not going to be infected worse by my finger especially after this guy stuck his nasty fingers in my inside of me he stuck his fingers inside of me phrasing a little child <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, straying away from that. Leon, you roll up and you see that there is the shipping container sticking out of the ground with one door flapped open. And there's like footsteps, go- like the footprints going toward it. You would definitely take a look at that. Just like... It's only a matter of time before all this got weird. <laughs> <laughs> And he would uh, walk up to it and go inside. Okay. So you head down Pleasure the stairs. Pleasure to join and... us, Leon. <laughs> oh, holy sh- What happened to you? Who's the guy <laughs> with the tinfoil poking out of his hat? And uh, what's going on? We can ask you the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um so uh <laughs> uh so yeah, um Reese kind of just turns to you, then turns to Lydia and says, Did you call him? And uh Lydia's like, Yeah, he's part of the team, of course. It's like another one to keep track of. One's catatonic, one's injured, the other one you know what's up with that, and then now we got Leon. Excellent. Oh, am I the one that you know what's up with? And we don't exclude our friends from things. That's how you guys ended up not being friends with somebody. And and like okay. Reese is gonna like just kind of turn back to to Gabriel and like just kind of have a look on his face. Like that's a very valid point, but you're a dick. Yeah, I am, and I am bit by a zombie. I'm allowed to be a dick. No, he didn't say it out loud. He just kind of like, he's looking at oh, you like. Fair enough. So, who is the one that's catatonic? Uh, Brighton. Brighton is kind of sitting on, on like, uh, it looks like a, a 
box that was of uh, garbage. I was saying that in character. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it, you said who's the one that's catatonic, and uh, Lydia's yeah. gonna just kind of like, kind of look over at Brighton, so, like sorrowfully. Um, well, we can. If he needs to maybe get out of here, I have a sentient dirt bike outside that can take him home. Don't worry, it's a unicorn. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah, if you can get him home, then that'd be great. Nice. All right. I got I got bit by a zombie, Leon. <laughs> he, we got, Shadow Vax! <laughs> I told you that's not my name! <laughs> uh, let me see here. Okay. It's can Cheryl. you tell me Aragorn next? <laughs> he, he knows about the leaves and stuff. He saved Frodo. I saw him. Uh, okay, so uh, do you like grab? Adult... Yeah, go ahead. I was said I was. I assume that like, I don't know, like the adults would take Brighton out there while I see what I can do for Gabriel. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, if he, if you make the point, it's like, hey, let me see if I can use magic to heal him. Then absolutely, they'll, they'll be like, okay, yeah, fine, go for it, try it. All right, so zombie bite you said? Uh huh. I don't know if this is The Walking Dead. I just put you down. If it was The Walking Dead, I, yeah, Walking Dead or not, I might be asking you to put me down here soon. It hurts. All right, let me see what I can do. And I'm going to use magic. There's a move for healing. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, heal one harm from an injury or cure a disease or neutralize a poison. Now, when it says okay. cure a disease, um, then that's like a normal disease, uh, a normal like actual. This is a magical thing. This is a magical effect. Um, okay. So it healing this entirely, you could absolutely move remove one harm, but uh, you wouldn't be able to like pull the zombieism out of them. Because it's it's like it's like a necromantic virus, you know. Can I tell all this by observing the wound? Like, can I feel the magic inside of it too? Yeah, go ahead and, and uh, just go ahead and, and roll your use magic. That is a seven plus three, so it's ten. Total of ten. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you can go ahead and, and choose your effect, and based on on that roll, you'll know that like, yeah, the like, you're not gonna be able to cure him, but you can at least pull the, some of the pain away and, and ease his pain. Um, okay. But in order to in order to do this, there would have to be some significant magic. Like, you would have to do like, do what's called you, big magic. Say yeah, I was about to say, was, was this like small magic? Do I need to do some big magic now? Yeah, it, it's going to be uh, big magic. But uh, be, based on your role there, um, Friendly, you can go ahead and pull away, uh, or you can like re recover one harm. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> um, it's going to take you a couple of seconds to do that. Like, it's, You're going to be like trying to knit together. Uh, and trying to extract and reverse it's essentially like a reverse time type of spell that you're doing um okay in order to undo the harm that has been done to him so it's not okay. necessarily healing it's just undoing the harm that's the like the the gotcha. effect I'm, I'm uh, that's the way I'm I'm choosing so, to rule the effect <laughs> this is definitely one of the times that he gets to bust out his uh, doctor strange magic yeah still has his wand because he needs it but he definitely emulates how dr strange in the first movie like turns the apple through time <laughs> so you're you're kind of like um doing the thing where uh like with your wand uh like you're you're doing the the drummer thing of like just kind of twisting the the drumstick through your hand yeah gotcha uh and then and like, like a little green sigil in front of it yeah. and everything yeah cool love that all right, so uh, yeah, you you turn back the clock and pull away the harm hey, from this uh, from mm. this bite. Gabriel, guess where I learned this one? Where? Can you tell? Can you tell? 
Uh-uh. Look, it's got the green circle. I don't think Gabriel's seen Doctor Strange. <laughs> no, remember the movie? What movie? The Doctor Strange. The MCU? Come on, man. <laughs> what is MCU? <laughs> okay. Like with Thanos? Man. I can't believe we're family. What is what is a fan? Shut, shut the hell up. And he just keeps doing it. <laughs> it's a really cool magic trick you did. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Can I tell you I also summoned a, pet, uh, a unicorn? Yeah, I asked if you could summon a dirt bike. A dirt, can I ride it? I mean, I don't know how long it's been around, but maybe. He says his name's Geralt. How weird is that? Geralt? Geralt. Geralt. Like Gary and Daryl mixed together. Geralt? Yeah. Sounds stupid. Yeah, I know. I bet he's not even, real, I bet he's not even a real God. unicorn. Um, so, so are you guessing where my where I summoned my unicorn from? Where did you summon it from? Oh, I thought you were getting the joke I was making. No. My head is all foggy. I got bit by a zombie 20 minutes ago. For anyone, just just so that Travis can feel some kind of uh, happiness in his heart, that's absolutely an Adventure Zone reference. Thank you so much, Travis. <laughs> the what? Yo, an, ad- dude. an Adventure Zone reference. Oh, uh, yeah, it's. Uh... Hey, bud. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, Leon, uh, you head back outside, uh, and they have gotten, um, uh, they have gotten Brighton into, um, apparently, like, as they approached, uh, without you, uh, the dirt bike now has a sidecar attached to it. It's in the same color scheme and everything like that, but it just kind of, (laughs) like, put a sidecar on there, so... Yeah, uh, you got you. Are you like if you want to, you can go ahead and get on the bike and take him uh, home. No, I'm just gonna stay here with Gabriel. Oh, okay. You're gonna stay with the, Gabriel, and then like one of the other two, we're gonna use uh, Gerald to take him home. Well, I just figured Gerald can uh, take him sentient. home himself. Yeah, it's sentient. Okay, so just like you can get tell him, directions. Tell him where he needs to go, and then the adults can stay here where the danger's at, and they have one less kid to watch over. Okay, sure. Uh, so, Gerald will, will take off, and, and Brighton's just kind of in the sidecar, just... <laughs> I thought Step we were... in and hope for the best. I thought we were getting rid of a PC whose player isn't here. Yeah. But I mean, he—he's like the character is also just—he's catatonic, so he might need yeah. some observation or help getting inside. All right. But no, no don't Garrel worry. Gerald can take him Garrel's inside. Gerald's got Garrel it. Can, yeah, Gerald just like his mom comes out and like looks and sees him on a dirt bike, just like completely catatonic on the dirt bike, like <laughs> getting up the stairs. I <laughs> just he figured he pulls, he pulls into the garage and just kind of sits there. Just like, <laughs> yo, where do you want me to put this fool? <laughs> yo, I'm guessing his uh, room's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to help me or just stand there and look at me? <laughs> so what, am I talking horse, unicorn, also a motorbike? Get with it. I know this character, but I already trust him so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so that's because Garrel is the epitome of trustworthy. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> um, <you>. yeah. I <laughs> so, um, yeah. No, you guys are all kind of there with um, Malcolm, and uh, Malcolm just kind of starts to sniff the air. He just. <laughs> yeah, that's not weird. Somebody's got genie stink. Man, I feel like that's not okay to say in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna like start, just keep sniffing over, like kind of like getting a little bit closer to each one of you guys, and then he sniffs Kyle. And he goes, "You stink like a genie." 
You're a creep. Don't sniff young boy. What do you mean I ain't genie? sniffing for the boy. I'm sniffing for the genie. <laughs> I'm not sniffing for the boy. <laughs> I don't have a genie. genie. That is now the name of my memoir. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I don't that. have a genie back up. <laughs> it's like, mm -mm. well, I don't want to talk about it. Get out of here, Malcolm. We're not talking about it. All right, all right. I won't don't tell everybody else that you got a genie. Quit he's just gonna like, genie. He's just gonna. He's gonna go back over, and he's like, just figured you might want to. I don't know. Save your friend's life or something. What? I'm out of business. What, 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 okay. What? What about the genie? Just saying, so what, one of y'all not going to say who? <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Look, I've got some to being a Catholic priest, and now I'm full of guilt. What is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really got Travis. I love that. <laughs> uh, if somebody in this room did have a genie, what about it? Have you never seen Aladdin? Genies can I've remake reality. Aladdin. So... I'm just saying, genies can remake reality. Uh, genies can, I mean, depending on how many wishes one does or does not have, how many favors mm, the genie coon, the genie owes to the person who releases him or whatever, um, then it just so happens that um, could wish Take away. Take out the bottle of certs of a Quavo and rub that shit and wish for me to have not have a zombie bite anymore. Look, 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 yeah. look, 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 look. look, look. Look, I don't have a genie, guys. I, I was there with genie. you. And I, I got a genie. I, theoretically, I, I got a genie, but he's a broken genie. He's broken. We I'm can reach him. him. Oh, he's fine. He's in the. He's in his triple sec bottle. I knew it. I knew Listen, you had a genie. If, the if sniffle's never away, been wrong. If it gets away again, we can always get get him. But if we don't get this wound taken care of, I'm gonna die. Big, big plans. Okay, okay, okay. And listen, I Gabriel, do do just just to be clear, you weren't in any of those plans, so I don't see how this affects me. <laughs> <laughs> do I have the genie with me or is genie at home tucked behind a Bruce Lee poster? <laughs> the, the, the genie is in your special alcove. It's, he's in my secret space? He's in your secret space <laughs> where you keep all of your trinkets and, 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 and stuff. Like a crow. Yeah. Like a crow, there's just a shelf that Cairo keeps with things that he's found. Um, so should I go home and get my, my genie? I mean, it, it might be easier because, like, your house from here is, like, half an hour, 45 minutes maybe. Um, oh, no. you, you guys may want to all kind of, like, gather together and call an uber or something to to their uber wouldn't be here cell phone signals crap uh why don't we just get back in a car yeah like you guys might want right, to there right, are no cars right. here all right before we attempt the genie mm -hmm. we're not killing we're not killing wayne that's, a, oh, that's not wayne. a i'll kill, kill wayne. wayne we're killing wayne late okay let's oh. all right i can promise I can't promise anything because the genie's being disrespectful and he's having his own issues that he's working through and I'm trying to help him work through it. But I do request to save your life, Gabriel. I do request that I get the other two wishes. I don't give a shit give, what wishes you have. I'll give you one wish. All right, let's go. Okay, I so say, I, I bottle the genie. You get the wishes, okay? <laughs> I, have to, I have to claw to save my life. This is crazy. He, is taking Wait, an emotional toll on me. I've been counseling him every single day since his capture. And, and that happened sure. about two months ago. Every day for two months, I've been taking care of this genie like a hermit crab. Gabriel is with feelings. right now. He's so angry right now. Gabriel is uh, Gabriel is is <laughs> like too fucked he got, up to be mad. No, no, he's he's so fucked up that he is mad because he got taken to this Malcolm guy. <laughs> got his, stuck his <laughs> fingers inside of his wound and then rubbed nasty smelly shit on it yeah and now the person that he's supposed to be able to protect trust with his life is bitching about using one wish he's pissed 
He's like <laughs> drunk angry. <laughs> and another look, thing. Look. You shit. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys, I'm not even sure if he's a good genie. Genie of consciousness. Yeah, but no, there's the genies that are bad, and then you say something stupid, and you're like, oh, I wish I was taller, but then it makes, it shrinks the world to 2% of its original size, and then boom, you're floating dead in space. I don't want that kind of genie wish. So let's be careful. I will talk to the genie, and let's go. Everybody, come on. My parents would love to see everybody. Couldn't I just summon the genie here? Like, we all don't have to go. Look, that's, Leon, that's disrespectful. Um, He is in his place of happiness right now in my trinket box. And my parents are making dinner. Also... Uh, you can summon a monster into the world. The genie is already in the world. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna do, like, a a thing where I, I summon the bottle okay. to us, which would yeah. be do one thing that is beyond human limitations. Uh, one thing beyond human limitations is a physical thing, so if you needed to, like, roll a car off of your buddy then that's beyond human limitations. If you needed to, like... Yeah, if you needed to, like... (laughs) Like, pick up, like, a vehicle and flip it in order to get it off of your friend, then that's beyond limitations. Uh, You have to strain yourself, but yeah. Go for it. In regards to to Leon's abilities. Yes. He can mimic what he sees on TV, right? Yeah? Leon, use Akio. Yeah, and I think that even with the Akio, it doesn't fall within the uh, um, realm of things that I can do with magic. Because I'm looking at just it, kind and of nothing like, that's like <laughs> Akio <just> genie. <laughs> imagining how that works, like you're just pointing the wand in the general direction of Kyle's house and being like Akio genie bottle, and then like Akio tri- triple sec. Uh, Accio genie <laughs> bottle, and then we see like far away is like a bottle smashes out of a window, glass in the in the yard, and then we see the bottle go, and then ten minutes later he's like, I guess it didn't work, and then suddenly like like somebody whipped a bottle at him across a parking lot, he gets smacked in the head with a triple sec bottle. Look, Mrs. Dinkman is making dinner. My mom is making dinner. We can so. Uh... We can all go. Okay, so, uh, like, are, are, do you guys agree to to go to Kyle's? That's fine. Okay, so yeah, yeah. um, what they do is, uh, Malcolm will help uh, get Gabriel situated, and uh, Malcolm himself has a little scooter that he has repaired. Um, that also has uh, it, it's like a moped, uh, but it's got a little sidecar on it as well. So the three of you can fit. Um, who is driving? I got a bike. Oh yeah, that's right. You got a bike. So who's somebody driving the moped? And somebody can ride on my handlebars. I don't think I can do either of those right now. Yeah. That's why I mentioned the sidecar. Side <laughs> um, okay, so you've got a. Uh, I'm gonna say Kyle on the moped driving. Uh, Leon skitching behind, and uh, Gabriel just kind of slumped in the sidecar. Is that track cool. for everybody? Cool. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, you guys all I uh, take off toward Kyle's house, and we're going to, like, scene wipe over to Kyle's. Um, Are we doing Star Wipe or, like, Star Wars Wipe? Uh, Star Wars, one side of the screen to the other. Just... Okay. And it's gone. Just make the shitty sure. editing of tw- 30 years ago, 40 Absolutely. years ago. Absolutely. 100%. Um, okay, well, he was referencing a visionary director with that in the seven, from the Sam and Samurai film, so mm-hmm. calm down there. <laughs> right, Don't so. care. <laughs> this is the sound of apathy. <laughs> um, Are we still so. talking about Star Wars? No. We're always okay. talking about Star Wars. Uh, that's just kind of always a back burner topic. Like, we've always been, yeah. like, <clears throat> we've been playing Star Wars the whole time. 
my uh, god. Kyle takes out a lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you fucking... be in the Star Wars? Because I feel like Kyle would be a little Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. All right. So um, you guys pull up in front of uh, Kyle's house. Uh, Kyle kicks in the door as he normally does, says, Mom, I'm home. And then you guys head upstairs. Uh, just kidding. So you guys pull up to Kyle's house, and uh, yeah, it, like Kyle, what would exactly you like to like do? That. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So you guys I head up to Kyle's friends. room. I told you they were uh, real. <laughs> I'm assuming Kyle has you guys wait outside while he goes into a secret hiding spot and retrieves the genie bottle, then opens the Behind door when the it's Bruce safe to come Lee in. A hundred percent. But which Bruce Lee poster? Hmm. Uh, All of them. There's one on every wall. <laughs> it's Where not are very secret. Hidden. Not, you've I mean, got so many secrets. <laughs> so, um, it's the Enter the Dragon one. <sighs> anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, you guys, um, you grab the genie bottle and you welcome them into your room and uh, you pop the screw top and rub the bottle. <laughs> yeah. And swirling from within like a small tornado. It looks like a small storm is brewing within this bottle and from within smoke pours from the neck of the bottle and forms into a physical being. Who's standing Will before Smith. you? Is this Will Smith or Robin Williams, Genie? Which one are we dealing with here? Neither. Wow. <laughs> Neither. Absolutely not. It's <laughs> in front of you stands it's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely hundred percent. Now, uh, in front of you stands a um, a uh, a pale skinned bald individual with uh, gold earrings lining its ears and its nose, and um, and it's Sounds covered. Like he's sweet. covered in. Uh, in in kind of like uh, swirling symmetrical tattoos uh, from head to toe. This sounds more um, like Jin than Genie. Uh, so he's covered head head to toe, and he's wearing um, he's he's wearing uh, like a just a, a t shirt and a denim jacket over top of it, uh, and jeans and a pair of sick fucking boots, um. Thank you for coming out of your jar, Genie. What is your name? Paul. Gabriel is freaked out right now because, as I told you last session, he's been yeah. watching a lot of Supernatural. Yeah. And he just saw the episode with the Genie or with the Jin. He's gonna where the where the Jin like tries to kill Sam and Dean. <laughs> yeah, with the IV drips and stuff. And yeah, and he has the, the face tattoos and everything yeah. like that. So Gabriel's like. It's like, hey, hey Kyle. Jamie, yeah, hey. These are my friends I was telling you about. Um, yeah, that's Leon and that's Gabriel, and and we have a friend who's now at home. But you'll meet yeah. him later. Don't worry. And uh, uh, the genie is going to extend a hand to Leon and say, "Hi, Paul Genie Mati." <laughs> <laughs> His name's Paul Genie Mati. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, he like he says that and it gets really tense and he's like I'm just kidding that was hilarious and like grabs his hand and starts fervently shaking it he's like your little sister's Aurora right yeah yeah she's kind of selfish right yeah so <laughs> and uh yeah, she's always making wishes, just like, I wish that I had this, and you know, all that kind of poor shit. Anyway. Yeah, uh, Kyle, what can I do for you? She wants. Uh, right? Well, and she needed a well, genie to grant her some more wishes. Whatever. Anyway, Kyle, Sorry what's up, man? Interrupting you, genie. Um, Mr. Genie Paul, I have a friend here, uh, and we've been having a discussion. He, he got bit by a zombie and is probably dying. Um. Mm. It turning into a zombie, and we need to fix that. But also, because we've never really broached the subject, you and I, after you know, talking about your ex-wife, and you know, 
your custody yeah. issues and and you know how how you disappoint your father and other things of that nature. Um, we never really got around to talking to you about um, if you're a good genie you know, or if and you're about a sneaky my dad, genie. You know what? I've I've been doing some soul searching and I may disappoint him, but, but he dis- he's a you. disappointment first. I'm enough for me. You're enough for me too, Genie. Thank so, you. Th- th- you're welcome and you Family been- is sometimes just what you make it to be. It's what you build. Exa- exactly. And here I am reaching out to you, Mr. Genie, to be my family and to help me and open up yourself uh with some truth. And I'll go ahead and tell you a truth about Kyle. Uh, I don't, I don't like my mom's, my mom's green beans. It, they're bad. But I don't tell her that because I love her. So now you tell me a truth, specifically whether or not you're a sneaky genie that d- does tricks and goofs, or if you're gonna help me. Oh no! See, I'm the genie that always tells truth. My brother's the genie that always tells lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't get through that. Uh, no, um, but yeah, no. The um, puzzle I can never solve. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, oh, no, if you guys are having troubles, then I'm happy to help out. I mean, you do have three. I, I got 99 problems, but only three wishes, Genie. Look, uh. <laughs> what, I, what I am able to do, it's, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of set by rules. It's like, I don't really have a, a choice in the matter. Like, uh, like crossroads demons, they cut a deal. They can't give away anything for free. They have to cut a deal. Yes. You know, I'm familiar with all that area. So crossroads I, demons are real. You're fine. Have you um, met Dinker Sam? So, I uh, he's <laughs> going to, he's just going to kind of like, he's delirious. Uh, I make a mental note that I can find a banjo demon at some point. I want sick ass banjo skills, demon. <laughs> uh, so, uh, okay, so yeah, he um, he kind of explains that, and and he uh, he says, so um, I the way that that it operates for me is I kind of operate under the letter of the law. The only reason that I was, we've talked about this, but for you guys, and he's going to turn to like Leon and Gabriel and say like, the only reason that I, uh, th- that I was in that, that TV station is because I, I didn't have a vessel. I was being pulled apart and wishes were being granted by the letter of the wish as quickly as possible. So I had no control over it. And I th- thank you guys for helping to save me. Yeah. Sorry for destroying your vessel. You know, it. It you got. You didn't know. You didn't know. I'm not. Hey, you I'm a, not one to harbor hate. You got a much roomier triple sec now. Yeah, true. It, it, it smells like oranges smells in there. Like, it's nice. I was gonna say, it smells like oranges. Um. Yeah. So before we do a big wish to try to save your life, Gabriel, I propose uh, a wish, a tester wish, if you will. Do you not trust your genie? Not even a little bit. Hey, it's that's fair. It's the it's a letter of the it's, wish. It's it's the letter of the word. So we can we get three wishes. We can burn one wish, as a test. Feel free. <sighs> if I die while <sighs> waiting, though, my blood's on uh, your hands. Well, I, you, you, you the, the my the your uh, genie, I'm ready. I'm overwhelmed and I'm ready. Okay, hit me with it. Start out with I wish, and then continue from there. Make sure the wording is just the way you want it. That's a lot of pressure, Jeannie. Okay, everybody promise to be cool. Can you all promise that? Nobody? Nobody's going to be cool? Gabriel's going to look like the way you said it, though. Gabriel's going to look at Kyle (laughs) and just be like, make the damn wish, Kyle. Okay, fine. All right. Mr. Paul Genie, I wish that I had my body back. You got it. How fast does it happen, Genie? I don't feel my body. You hear a thump against the front door. Genie, what's at the front door? 
Jamie. You ask for your body back. Jamie, what did you do, Jamie? You ask for Leon, your body back. Leon, go get back. the front door. Please go get the front door. There's another thump at the front door. Um, no, I read the monkey's paw. Hell no. No, I don't know what the monkey's paw is because I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why would you make a wish that big? I mean, it was a test of wish. Okay, I'll go open the front we door. We should have talked about this. You open the front door, you run down the stairs, and you go to the front door, and you throw it open. And the the two of you looking down the stairs see Kyle standing there. And then next to Kyle is... A, it's a, It's like a zombie, but not it's like a like a skeleton wearing the same clothes that you see Kyle wearing except they're worn and they're tattered and let me go ahead and in where's my mouse uh, let me go ahead and in the stream I'm gonna make an adjustment here There we go. Hmm. Streaming adjustment. Oh, it's it's still I coming did. up on the stream. Oh, oh. there I am. Uh, Leon. Well, wh why is there why is there a skeleton right there when 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 Kyle asks for his body? Why did Kyle ask for his body? Leon, what the, what the frick is going on, man? Hmm. I'm freaking um, out, man. Kyle's mom comes out from the kitchen and says, oh, "Are we having another guest for dinner?" No, I mom. Mean, no, we're not. Classic okay. monkey fall. Like, obviously, Kyle is, I don't know, somehow dead. <laughs> like, he's just. Looking back and forth, he's like, "We have to be more specific with wishes." Like, so. Oh. Ah. Stop. Paul. Paul, I run back up the stairs. Paul. I said, "Okay, hang on. This is not on me. This is not on me." I said, "Be very Paul. careful. I cannot control the interpretation of the wish. Paul, it's to the letter." You gave me a monster. I asked for my body. You made a monster. I gave you your body back. Your body is back, and you have you are now in possession of it. I gave you your body back. You got to be more. Yeah. I, I, you gave me a monster. You made a monster come here to my home. It's for not a monster. monster. It's 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 no you. He, uh, it's you it, ever mm. seen Skeletons just all chilling in the street, Paul. Cause I haven't, not yet. And if I did, I'd call it a monster. <laughs> Kyle, you're dead. <laughs> I've been dead. I died. I'm dead. I'm died, and I just want to be a real boy. I died. When did you I'm die? I'm stuck here. A when long, long, long. Been dead long. Been real dead. Big dead. I need you guys to know. That we've been peppering in, like, just, we've been peppering in hints the entire time. Nobody notices Kyle. Episode I one. Was, I thought he was just a loser. <laughs> I'm already, I'm, yeah. That's what I wanted you to believe. <laughs> I'm wear shirts with ghosts on it, or the Grim Reaper. Yeah. Not oh, God, you can't see my face, but right now I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Paul? So is the rest of your family dead too? Me, my, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> my mom's <laughs> dead. My dad's dead. That we can't exist. They can't exist outside the house. Their spirits are trapped within here. I am a free range ghost. There's a lot of questions that have a lot of answers. All I've got is this. Paul, I got one more wish and then I'm handing it off to Gabriel. And I said, help me, God, if you create another monster. And I'm going to be so specific with what I want. Okay, you hold have on. to make amends. Hold on. 
Hold on. Now, before you go making any more wishes, this needs to be a group collaboration. We're going to sit down and we're going to figure out the exact wording and figure out ways that he may, or that the, the magic may be able to well, get fucked wish up. Sh Sheila Boxleby was a real person in this dimension who I can hang out with. And I pull Sheila out of my pocket. It is done. And as you go to pull Sheila out of your pocket, you hold up that D and D mini that you swiped off of Leon's desk. Back in, in back near Halloween, you pull that D and D mini off of his desk, uh, like out of your pocket, and it slowly turns to um, to ash in your hand and wisps away into nothingness. They're knock at my door. I'm calling Sheila. Okay, first off, who is this Sheila person? BRB. Secondly, okay. Tell you what, uh, you weren't. we're going to go ahead and pause here and take a quick break because we've been going for about an hour and a half. So, have we really? Yeah, we'll be going, uh, we'll be coming back in about uh, 10 minutes or so. So, uh, don't go away. Next time. Next break.
and we are back. So, um, right on. So we just left off on the revelation that uh, Kyle is no longer the mundane. Mechanically, <laughs> Kyle is now the monstrous. He's a ghost. Ooh, spooky. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like, um, moving forward from here, uh, Kyle just wished, um, now that we've, we've made the revelation that, uh, Kyle is a ghost and a Kyle's body is, uh, in some semblance of living and it is also downstairs, and uh, he also wis- wished for uh, Sheila Boxelby, the uh, kind uh, tortoise woman from the D and D kind of uh, uh, imagination dive that they did near Halloween, uh, for her to be real because she was nice to him. Um, yes. So, uh, yeah, um, like uh, you, uh, Kyle, you hear a voice from downstairs call up to you. And you recognize that voice immediately. Um, and you hear, Dinner will be ready in, in uh, 15 minutes. I said, Sheila. It's I absolutely go Sheila. See her. It's, huh? it's absolutely Sheila. Wait. It's Sheila. I Sheila's have... here. Here, th- Here's the bottle. You guys you know, figure out your wish. Jeannie, I'll be back for you for my third wish later. I got to go deal with my dead body. And Miss Sheila, and I See you throw later, the Kyle. bottle at at uh, Gabe. Uh, Wait, okay. Gabe, uh, I know yeah. how to fix everything. Uh huh. We just wish for everyone to be restored back to the way they were physically on their last living birthday. Just ask for that for everyone in the house. It'll be, it'll bring Kyle back to life. It'll change you of your zombie. I, I got you. I got you, Genie. Yeah, uh, Gabriel, right? Yes, yes. How are you, my friend? Yeah, good to meet you. I'm doing okay. How are you? Do you, do you fist bump? Yeah, I fist bump. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna give a fist bump. Not during the age of Corona. You two better six feet apart. <laughs> corona I doesn't win. exist in refuge. It's t- completely <laughs> isolated. Like New Zealand. Oh, yeah. That okay. doesn't sound like conservative rhetoric. <laughs> I, I there wish. is no corona in refuge. <laughs> there is no war in Bossing Se. <laughs> exactly. I'm a sovereign citizen. Government mm. don't mean nothing to me. Okay. Well, Travis, how do you, or Leon, how do you want me to say this again? Okay. Wish that every entity in this house be restored back to the way they were physically on their last living birthday. I wish that every entity in this house is restored to how they were on their last living birthday. Physically. Physically. On their last living birthday. I'm glad you included that last part, bud. And Kyle... You're running downstairs, and your skeletal body is just kind of standing there. And you see that it starts to, like, kind of pop its neck and stuff. And it, like, fills out. And you see that you're still you, but your body's there. And your body is no longer skeletal and... And like sunken and 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 everything like your your two Kyles. Now there is the ghost Only Kyle. Only one can and, remain. And now you have a body that is one hundred percent alive and looking around, and it looks it, it's a pristine mirror image copy of you. I raise my right hand to it. Do you talk? 
Yeah. Oh my god. For just a hot I second, know, right? I thought he was going to be like a Pokemon. So Kyle. You... <laughs> I'm Kyle. He's just, he's he's kind of empty headed. He's kind of stupid. He's like, yeah. Cool. Just regu- Are you regular stupid? Who's your favorite martial artist? Bruce Lee. Okay, this and is And then you cool. see him kind this of drool me. down his awesome. face, like, just kind of... Oh, like, oh shit, no, we no, forgot no. mentally! Oh, no, he's... Oh, the, the oxygen deprivation is guy to him. Can I go find Pussy. you? <laughs> Stop. Am, am, I, am I good now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, at, at, back upstairs, um, Gabriel, you... You like you you no longer have that bite, but you've also lost some of your your muscle tone. In an inch of height. Um, you're you're not as because you've been working with Miss Schultz for uh like months now since your la- like your your last birthday was a couple of months ago like before the end of the school year. So like it before was the last beginning, week. your birthday was. <laughs> We've already established that your birthday was in the in, at the end of summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you uh, have been restored to the physical form that you had before. Uh, before you started training, so you That's have cool. lost your muscle mass, and you're gonna maintain your stats, your tough, all that stuff because you've earned that. I'm not gonna take that away from you, but I. Uh, down here that won't got you i uh, okay uh but yeah you you um physically just thought you, you were doing training moves <laughs> when i imagine gabriel training uh with miss schultz I, I like every time you talk about it i picture that scene from the original buffy the, the vampire slayer movie where uh christy swanson has to train with uh God, who is the old man in it? Who is the, the, the who is the Giles in that, but not Giles? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? No, nope. yeah. Nobody. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember that movie very Are well. The, um, I know what you mean. I know what scene you're talking about. Yeah. The the. Okay, I'm moving on. We move back to <laughs> talking about how he's weaker and shorter and okay. whatever. Okay. Uh, Leon. We have not established when your birthday was. Last week. No, Don't cheap out. Come on. When when would Leon's birthday have been? I feel like we've mentioned something about his birthday, but I can't remember it. <laughs> it's all good. Um, Why so... he figures that out? It's the answer. I think is uh, I, I I think it's Donald Sutherland who trains. Well, I was gonna ask... to good. What's up? Oh, is it really Donald Sutherland? <laughs> um so anyways i was thinking that it would probably be around march okay it would be his birthday so i don't know what time okay what time of month this is so this this is still in like february the next uh adventure that we play oh. is going to be caught up you've now lost a year you're two inches shorter yeah, like <laughs> you've, like, all that's changed. Oh no, my one like, cube! <laughs> my chest <Yikes>. hair. <laughs> I, the uh, like two of the three chest hairs that you have have now uh, wilted and fallen out. Um, <laughs> you just have one left. Um, you're thirteen. Anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, no, you you go back to. Uh, you you go back to the way you looked uh, a year ago. Physically, you you've lost two inches of height. Uh, people are gonna say like, in like ten years, people are gonna say that you look great for your age. Oh, he's like, oh, I would never have guessed that you were you were uh twenty five. I would have I, I would have thought like, like twenty two maybe. I'm going to lift my bond up and try to do something small with my magic, like shoot uh. Uh, make it like a little bit foggy, like. Okay, so you're, you're okay. Uh, go ahead and you do a 
Uh, use magic roll. Take a negative one. So that's ten. Ten. You do exactly what you were looking to do, but it, it's harder than you remember it being. You don't have the oh. muscle memory to do it as well. Um, you don't have the 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 dexterity that you've built up over time and like kind of like knowing like you no longer remember how to finger tut like uh like Doctor Strange. Um yeah, it's it's one of those types of things. So you, you don't have that oh. muscle memory built in anymore. You're going to have to keep like training. Um Uh don't worry, Kyle, Sheila is still downstairs in the kitchen. Uh, you've like made contact with the, uh, with your 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 uh, with your body uh, that has now been restored to uh, to the exact physicality that you had on your last living birthday. You run into the kitchen, and uh, your mom looks great. She looks perfectly fine. Uh, and uh, Sheila looks like Sheila. Except she's not a uh, a turtle lady. She's just a uh, she's just a little old lady. She's a, like Nana Sheila. And she looked like my great my great grandma. Mm-hmm. She looks okay, so like she looks uh, not like your great grandma, but your she looks like yeah, she looks like your grandma. Thank you. So I'm gonna. I'm I I was I I don't have any plans now. I'm upset because I'd rather deal with an idiot clone. Okay. But Sheila, Kyle's not a ghost anymore, right? Kyle is a ghost. All you guys did was give my body back to the world. I, okay, but like, I said every entity in the house. Yeah. Did did his parents turn human? No. I, my parents. Are every still entity ghosts? in the house, like like it, your parents are still ghosts. Not their uh, soul into their body. Yeah, you, you wished for the entity to be restored. Uh, the entity to be restored to the, the way that they were on their last living birthday, correct? I said they all, I, what's physical, that? every entity to be physically restored to their last living birthday. So in my mind, that says every entity is going to be brought back to life because they were, that's how they were on their last living birthday. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was intending. Can genies do this, or does this genie follow the rules of a This is, it's it's one of those things where you can't bring people back from the dead, but you can, yeah, you can restore physicality, so, uh, So Kyle's mom looks a year younger. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does that mean that his parents' bodies are now alive and buried? Yep. Oh, no. My parents were cremated. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> now there's just like uh, two pieces you guys... appeared where their urns were <laughs> absolutely urns just shatter and they absolutely i love that uh, kyle's parents like this this wave of energy kyle's parents uh just kind of like like are just like sitting up on the mantle just like empty-headed <laughs> oh no there's idiots everywhere <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we that just guy. hear pop, pop from the living room, and we run in, and there's from dust reforming the parents. <laughs> there's there's just porcelain on the ground, ashes uh, to ashes, dust to dust. I offered you guys my genie, and you've destroyed my home. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! We could probably fix this. I don't have genie fix, Sheila. I have Sheila. Stop. Uh, but. Do I have to Sheila, t- Sheila, take care of my dumb parents. Do we have cell signal right now? Gabriel is a lot better. I am better. I do we have cell yeah. signal? Uh, oh. uh yeah. Okay. I want to call I'm gonna say you guys are in a in in like a residential area. Like yeah, go ahead. I want to call Officer Reese. Okay. <laughs> you call I Reese. I am now debating if he should ring 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 ring, ring phone call. Like, phone. What's Kyle debating? It, 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 Kyle is running through freaking pet cemetery in his head and wondering what the outcome will actually be. Um, I mean, if Brighton was here, he'd be able to like kind of, you know, like it's like, well, there's nothing that says that this thing can't happen. Uh, so uh, you call Reese, and then um, 
Gosh. Sometimes dead is better. Dead is better. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you call Reese. Reese picks up and he goes, "Hey, what's up? Hey, are you with Malcolm still?" I mean, yeah. Um, so I there guess. was a situation. We brought oh, three oh God, dead people happened? back to life. I, I, my arm's fixed, so that's that's good news. Fantastic. Tell yeah. Them, tell, um, tell them about the three dead people. We They'll brought probably want to know that three um, dead people back to life. Kind of. Kyle was dead. Did you know Kyle was dead the whole time? Kyle told you. Well, he so. He asked for this body bag, and then the genie brought back a skeleton. So when I asked for wait, a wish, genie. Yeah, we were helping the genie save my the genie in the triple sec powder. You know. Uh, anyways, I thought y'all got rid of that. Like, I'm so- no. Uh, Paul, okay, Paul, okay, okay. Paul I'll stop interrupting. Right my bad. Paul McGeneson's right here. Um. So yeah. Um. My wish was to restore everybody back to where back to physically how they were on their last birthday. So we have Kyle's body back, but Kyle's still a ghost. And Sheila's here, who was a turtle last time I saw her. Um, I don't know who Sheila is. Oh, hell. She, she's a turtle from Dun- Remember when we went to the Dungeons and Dragons world, Leon and Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, the Shia LaBeouf Halloween special. Yeah. 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 yeah it was the tor- the turtle, the really nice turtle lady that gave us cookies. Okay, I remember something. You you so saying she, something about she's that? Here off now, yeah, but she looks like a uh, she she now looks like an old grandma. Okay, totally so cool. super sweet. But we brought back three bodies to life. So, so Kyle's body is back. Is is Kyle still around or? Yeah, Kyle's still Kyle around. Re- okay, um. Like in in ghost form there. Uh, okay, so, which is really weird because so, I touched Kyle before. Kyle is uh, there's some rules with that. Uh, we'll go over that later. Uh, Kyle. So if I got this right, Kyle's still here, but also mm-hmm. Kyle's body is back and restored, and also Kyle's parents are their bodies are restored, but also they're still there. Right? Exactly. Okay, and we've got some other lady named Sheila, um, Nana Sheila. Yep. It's now in Kyle's house. Yep. Exactly. And there's a unicorn that looks like a dirt bike that's now in town. So. Yes. I mean, if we're just if we're just tossing everything onto the pile. Right now. Oh, I, I also figured... don't have my six pack anymore. I mean, it was more of a four pack, but I'm not. But I don't have that either. I, I feel like I feel like I'm a little okay. bit weaker than I used to be. Mm. Hey Gabriel, mm. ask them if they've got a book that has like a ritual for how to rebind souls to their body. Do you have a ritual on how to rebind souls to your body? Like a spell book or something. Like a what spell book. Have been working with? I'll talk to Malcolm. And he, he, he hangs up. He hung up on me. What do you say? He'll ask Malcolm. Who's Malcolm? The the weird guy that rubbed the smelly stuff in my arm. Oh, the dude that had the tinfoil hat poking up out of his yeah, 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 yeah. Hat on a hat. You know, I just realized that. Yeah. You, it, did you notice his accurate. shoes? Did you notice his shoes? No. What about them? They didn't have soles. They were just like the top of shoes, like just laid over his feet. Like toff? Like toff, yeah. He also wasn't wearing a shirt. It was very weird. Very weird. Yeah, the whole thing kind of stunk. This whole thing's kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, I shoot bolts of ice. We met someone who made friends with a Thunderbird. We've been chilling with a ghost and didn't even realize it. Like, this is some real six cent shit. I got Ooh. bit by a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just not been around, like... I can't believe I've missed all this. We should, like, should we tell our parents about this? Uh, no. no all I right. You're probably right. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain my parents have been looking for a way to get rid of me for a while. So. Oh, I can I tell you that that is 100% true. true. My dad told me that his, his brother did not like you at all. That doesn't surprise me. I... Honestly, uh, like, Leon's parents are just happy that he's making friends. 
<laughs> yeah. They're just happy that he's and out of the house making friends. Still looking into the, and also still looking into boarding schools they can send them in. Them too. I mean, if this if this whole friend group you being out of the house all the time falls through, then maybe. Oh, it'll be great for your education. You'll be able to put it on all kinds of like your transcripts and stuff. It'll it'll look really great for college uh, college applications. So you can go away and uh, go to college there. You can go away for school. Um, but yeah. So, uh, stepping away from from upstairs, uh, what is Kyle doing at the moment? Just to check in. Kyle is testing his um, body double now. I'm not willing to deal with my parents. I told Sheila to deal with him, but right now I'm running through. Oh, your they're now sitting test. on the couch and just kind of like they're 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 sitting on the couch, just peacefully yeah. kind of looking around. Yeah. Like everything's Sheila, great. Sheila's got it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be running through, you know, your reasonable tests when you have an undead um, idiot walking around uh so two things that come to mind was um uh what did i just say pet cemetery mm-hmm. so i uh, dude, the pe- potential for evilness within kyle in his body double or his body double and also of mice and men because even if it's not evil and he's not sent back yeah. from hell then i need to make sure that he's not you know <laughs> The rabbits, George. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not gonna have to put him down in some sad, sad way yeah. because he's idiot strong. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna give him this. St- I'm gonna give him a stuffed animal and see how he reacts. <laughs> Just pet this, Kyle. How would you pet this, the stuffed animal, Kyle? Good. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if I turn away and I don't look at you, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Excellent. And I start writing down my notes because this is I'm going to. <laughs> this is this is scientific. It's it's only science scientific. if you write it down. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed him and start taking care of him and making sure I okay. don't want to kill my twin. Mm-hmm. But I will put down Kyle too if he has to. <laughs> um, while while they're doing that, I want to go out from the room and call down. Hey, Ghost Kyle. Yeah. I I talked to Reese. Cool. Uh, he's gonna. They're gonna try to find a spell that can return your body to your your soul to your body. Uh, a good thing I didn't pull the trigger then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pull the trigger. You're gonna kill him. By the way, I I would, I'm would giving vote. him a few days. He just flipped the safety on the Glock that he had pulled out while he was watching the test. <laughs> right. I would vote for the name Kelso. Kyle also. <laughs> Kyle also. So we call him Kelso. I'm going to call him K2. K2. I like K2. <laughs> He's special, K. <laughs> <laughs> That carries some weight to it, okay? <laughs> Special K, and he's like, uh. I don't think we can say that in 2021. <laughs> Yikes. Don't think that one's allowed. <laughs> All proceeds from this episode are going to the... <laughs> oh, they're being donated to... <laughs> being donated. Your, own, your own prejudice decided what I meant by that. Reflect <laughs> on yourself, everyone. <laughs> it's not on me for making the joke oh, it's on you for Lucas interpreting it <laughs> <laughs> all right um moving right along uh yeah kyle is on his way or not kyle uh reese, reese is on his way to you uh with malcolm malcolm and, and reese pull up outside of kyle's house and um there's a knock at the door i'll go mm-hmm. answer the door at the door Oh, great. More visitors. What could be more fun? Um. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> uh, Malcolm kind of uh, bows his head and uh, touches the top of the door frame, and then he walks inside. Um, and, yeah, he, um, uh, Malcolm and Reese both step inside and I uh, Reese waves a quick hello to Kyle's mom. Um, I think you, you decided on the name Deb. 
Deb Dinkman. Yeah, Deb Dinkman, I think is what you told me. Is that uh, right? Or am I remembering that wrong? Uh, 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 give him, let's see, what would my I parents, thought, like, you, parents' name be? I thought it was something like Pat and Deb, because they're typical Midwest. Pat and Deb. I, w- I, w- I say we name them, um, uh, let's see. <laughs> I had to. I had to think of. It's gonna be Al and Peggy. Al and Peggy. Yeah. Oh my God! All right. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Peggy immediately got that reference. Uh, well, they now they do have two children. Uh, it's one child, but it's children. But it's two now, Uh, and they are married. Uh, anywho. (laughs) So. Uh, Peggy gives a, a little wave to uh to Reese, and um she asks, uh, well, "Are you gonna be staying for dinner?" Uh, and uh, Reese just says, uh, "No, ma'am. I think we're gonna be um be out of here pretty quick, actually." And Malcolm starts looking around the space. He's like immediately starts like picking through drawers and kind of looking around and just kind of like invasively getting a sense of the area uh and malcolm down <laughs> the feng shui is all wrong in here and he's like just kind of picking around and kind of like shifting stuff he'll, he'll like like just like take something move it two inches to the left and then like yeah and he'll like walk to the other side of the room shift something go back to the original thing shift it back to where it was and it'll just continue around the room like that and and he's just going to turn around and look at Kyle and K2. And he's going to say, uh, Oh, okay. One of them's a ghost. Hmm. That makes more sense. Which one, and one is, of them is it? Body, and which one? Of, and one of them is his body that we just brought back. One is the good guy. No. One's the bad guy. Who <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> in order for us to, uh, in order for Malcolm to give you the information that you're actually looking for, in order for, in order for, she's got her headphones on, fantastic, uh, in order for Malcolm to give you guys the, the information that you're actually looking for, I would like for one of you. Uh, whoever is going to be taking the lead on asking questions to roll investigate a mystery with the um, al- alternative that, so. uh, with the alternative um, uh, phenomena questions available as well. Yeah, I have zero investigate mystery. Phenomena. What's everybody else's investigate mystery? I've got a plus one. I'm dumb. So I say. Leon's gonna ask the questions. What is the which document is this? Are these phenomena things? Uh, it is on the uh weird the alt weird moves and phenomena. Okay. So, yeah, M O T W T O M alt weird. So you do have the uh, it's on the. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It. Okay. Cool. So you do have uh, the investigative mystery questions from the yeah. phenomena and also the original uh, investigative mystery questions. So you're just going to roll 2d6 plus sharp. Oh, I didn't get that third eye ability. Okay. <laughs> so that is a six. A six. Six is going to be a failure. Experience. Yeah, you do gain one experience, but you don't get to ask any any questions. So you just kind of like you're stunned. You you don't know what where to begin. Can I try? Sure, go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down so I can reroll it. I mean, I don't know. Would it be help, more helpful if you were to roll to help me? I just rolled an eleven. So rolled an eleven. Okay. With that 11, 
uh, with a total of 11, um, you nice. get uh, to hold two from the lists. Yeah, I'm trying so to find So the questions I, are, I, I, um, just for the audience, the questions are, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? And then the alternate phenomena questions are, um, how is this phenomenon doing this? What could fix it, cure it, or slow it down? How far does the effect reach? And uh, what will be affected next? What can fix it? What can fix it? All right. Um, so, through you would know that uh, apparently something that Brighton said to you stuck. Something that Brighton said to you, like, in, in him just kind of, well, well, I mean, in, in the event that there's a, 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 in a flashback sequence you hear, uh, in the event that, like, a soul is separated from a body, then the body becomes an empty vessel, which could be, uh, could be, like, uh, you know, um, noticed or under attack from um, different entities that, that are in the spirit world that want to, uh, you know, continue existing and they want to take over that, that physical, like, empty vessel, but there is a way to restore the soul back to the body through um, an act of, of, uh, of, of magic. Yeah. So, yeah, you would know that, like, the three empty vessels here are are kind of a big deal. Uh, it's not very often that a human form, like, is is an empty vessel um, in, in, like, pristine condition. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, you, you kind of, like, that pops into your mind and... Okay, so I'm going to look at Malcolm. Malcolm. Okay. I'm going to say... I'm gonna say Malcolm, I'm gonna level with you, homie. I'm gonna level with you. You're you're called Malcolm the the uh Diviner. The Diviner. I'm yeah. gonna need you to pull some diviner out of your butt and help me restore these souls to their body. Now how in the world would I pull a diviner out of my butt? I, I... It was a figure of speech. I need you to work your magic, because I know deep down in there okay. somewhere you got you got some magic in there. I know I know that you're smart. You're handsome. You are uh, a good dancer, and you have a keen sense of fashion. Well, thank you. Uh, and um, he says, "Well, you see, I'm called Malcolm the Diviner because I." See, I, I can I can focus and I can read the ley lines and I can uh, see visions of the future. Mm-hmm. I can divine where the time stream will go. Okay, I don't necessarily do the kind of magic you're looking for. Okay, okay, perfect. That's great. You can see the future. Hmm. I need you to see the future where we figure out how to do this. Now that I can do. And um, so Malcolm is going to uh, say, um, you know, they say that hindsight is twenty twenty, but I see the future by walking backwards through time. And he's just going to start scooting backwards, <laughs> like just kind of shuffling his feet on the carpet and scoot uh-huh. backwards, backwards, like backwards. doing backwards, a really backwards. bad moonwalk impression. Yeah, yeah. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> no shoes um, on. Yeah, just, and he starts scooting around the living room, just like just making circles around the coffee table. Uh, and then he's gonna sit down and he's gonna think. And he's just there for a while, like a while. I look at Reese. Okay, okay, so I know that I like shoot magic bolts and stuff, but are we sure this guy's for real? Reese. Yeah. What, what what what's going on? It's a lot. It's a lot to explain. Um Malcolm Malcolm does things like like I said, he used to be our gym teacher. So he used to, you know, be all there. But he says that in order to connect 
fully with uh, the way that he explained it to me a long time ago. In order to connect fully with the arcane magic, he has to reject all possessions. He has to own nothing. So is that why he dresses and looks the way he does? Yeah, because uh, none of that's his stuff. It's discarded trash. So, mm. I mean, it's other people's stuff. He owns nothing. Like. Oh uh, yeah, he he has to. In order for him to do what he does, and he, believe me, he he seems off. He Real is all off. off. Um, he is off. Okay, okay, but he's a man that I I respect, and that I, I have a lot of appreciation for because he. There's no one better. On short notice, to do what he does. Well, we'll see if he can pull this out. We'll see. And then Gabriel's just going to sit there with his jewel and start jeweling. And, uh... You know, it's on the on short notice. That really, that really makes me pause there, Reed. Is there someone better suited? I, I, I really wouldn't. I wouldn't want to get into it. Um... And you guys hear, just like from Malcolm, just sitting there, and you hear a... He just fart. He just farted. Ah. Um, Anyone better. <laughs> and uh, like, he, he just like, smirks a little bit, because like, he's in the zone, but he knows what's going on. <laughs> um, So... Yeah, uh, go ahead and let me see. Um, I want any one of you to roll manipulate someone in order to coerce, um, in order to coerce uh, uh, Reese into talking more about who else might be able to help perform this big magic. I have a plus one in charm. Well, I'm plus two in charming. Who mm. already rolled? I did. Also, um, trust me. Okay. I did. Okay. I also got. I thought I we also were all got rolling. to trust me. Okay, so uh, what did everybody roll? I didn't roll. Okay. I rolled a ten plus one. Oh wow. Uh, mark experience for your uh, and then Savannah. So level up. <laughs> yeah, I failed big time, but. Is there a way for me to talk to Reese separately, like before we start? Yeah, grilling yeah, him? sure. Um, okay, or, so I guess we could grill him first, and then I want to have a discussion with him. Absolutely, we can. We can have you first, and we and step aside. Later. Yeah. Yeah, I um, failed big time. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, Gabriel, do you know what you're taking for your level up? Because level ups happen in the moment. I think I'm doing an advanced improvement. Okay, so what are you improving? I'm not sure yet. I'm looking through it right okay, now. Okay, go for it. Cool. <clears throat> So, um, Leon, yes, you kind of, uh, kind of grab Reese by the arm and pull him to you and you're like, come on, Reese, we need to like, like, what do you say to Reese in order to, to kind of convince him? Reese, I think that you know that right now we're in some pretty deep shit. We've got an entire family that we have to reunite their souls with their bodies. We've apparently got a necromancer on the loose. I think it's time for all hands on deck. We have to probably go down avenues and make phone calls that we don't really want to make. Yeah, but you see, that's the problem. The problem on one hand is the solution on the other. It's weighing in it. Who? Wayne. One of the ex-members of Reed. The reason that there were zombies walking through the fields, trudging through the snow, and biting the shoulder of Gabriel over here. The whole reason that he was in danger was Wayne. Alright, so we, we call up Wayne. No, we're killing Wayne. Yeah, I mean, 
obviously, but we can we can use way lure him here, be like, hey, we just want to fix this family, and then once we get what we need from him, off him. All right. I pick I pick it on my uh, advanced improvement. Okay, so what's what's your advanced improvement? You track down the specific monster responsible for your loss. The keeper must make the next mystery about them. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> My boy. Oh, shit. That's a good okay. one. All right. So, uh, w- like, where did you pull that advanced improvement from? Just from your, your sheets? Just right on my sheet, yeah. Okay. Sick, dude. Oh, uh, the net. Oh, my God, dude. You That's made so cool fucking cool, dude. I'm like, I am turgid right now yeah. all right? i am like Dude, if you guys could I mean, see below this, this desk an oh my god <laughs> i could only I, get I so think... erect did we put the <laughs> explicit rating on the on this before we started nobody's watching this this fucking sucks anyway <laughs> <laughs> hey there are five people watching right now okay? and we appreciate each and every one of them i truly do um, thank you all for being here so very much. Uh, I'll anywho, thank them. Apologize for being gross. I, I sincerely <laughs> apologize that I didn't if do it sooner. If you are under 18, please go tell your parents what you just heard. I mean, <laughs> You're going to make me have to go to YouTube instead of Twitch. <laughs> anyway. YouTube, uh, the, the barren land for ex Twitch streamers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to Mixer. Shit. Um, anyway, that's fair. Yeah, it's true. Uh, anywho, back on track here. It's, um, oh my God, you finished the whole bag. Uh, let's, let's give it up, everybody. Everybody just, oh my God. It's amazing. I like cheesy poof. <laughs> I like a cheesy poof. Um, so, uh, shit, dog. I forgot where we were. Um, anyway. I'm not Wayne. Yeah, yeah we, so, I just said that Bert, we should lure Wayne here, get him to fix our problem, and then kill him. Okay. All right. So, uh, Leon, uh, why don't we go ahead? Why don't you go ahead and tell the group where you were? Uh, I talk with Reese at the I, end. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay. We're, we're, don't and worry. I have not make forgotten. Sure you did not forget. Yeah. I, thank you very much for the reminder. Leon, go ahead and tell everyone where you were up until uh, how like up until the end of the school day today. Um, okay. Um, you were out of town. Yeah. Do you want me to tell them as Leon or? Uh, no, just character? just this is out of character. Let these two know because like okay. they would have known beforehand. So uh, Reese has, or not Reese. Leon's parents have been out of town. His mom took his sister to one of the beauty pageants. His dad had to work. And Leon didn't want to go with his mom to go to another one of his sister's pageants. So um, his dad's brother, uh, um, he's been staying with him for the last week. And they have been in a Mountain Dew and uh, junk food binge the last uh, week or so, and that's why he's all hopped up. He still has mm-hmm. a bunch of Mountain Dew coursing through his veins. <laughs> and he's also, uh, he spent the whole time he figured out a spell to let him watch his favorite TV show and play his favorite video game at the exact same time. Just kind of split attention is what we call it. Yeah, It's called dual monitors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's been able to pay like perfect attention to both of them. So, Leon, and we can. Your uncle's. Say, What's that? We can actually say that, like, as he's telling them this, it's because, uh, like, they noticed that he was rubbing his head. He's got a headache. He's starting to come mm-hmm. down from the Mountain Dew and from the spell's effect. So down from the he's mountain. starting to. He's starting to crash a little bit, and yeah. so we can say that Reese asked him, like, "What's wrong?" He tells him what he's been doing, and that mm-hmm. he's coming down off of all this Mountain Dew. Gotcha. 
Uh, so when they say that, like, Wayne, uh, like, uh, Wayne used to live in town and he, uh, he took off, Leon, you kind of put it together that the uncle who's, who you've been staying with all weekend, that's your uncle Wayne. As he's like rubbing his head, he's like, wait a second. And like looks at Reese. You look up at Reese and, and Reese is, what? Nothing. Um, I gotta go call my mom real quick to uh, see if when she and my sister will be back from the airport. That's a good idea. Yeah, Kyle, you got the you got a landline here still, or uh, there's phones everywhere. Go get one. All right. Okay. Is, is, uh, is Malcolm still run upstairs in their Kyle's shitting? room? <clears throat> What's that? Is Kyle st- or Malcolm still sitting there shitting? He's not shitting. He's he's just, he's tooting every once in a while. Like he's just. Um, can I grab Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah. I like grab so, Gabriel's arm and I'm like, hey, come with me. Yeah, while you guys we step away. Uh, okay. w- while you guys step away, Kyle, you're going to have a, a moment with Reese. So, um, you kind of like, you know, pull him aside and, and you're sitting there talking with him. So, yeah, Kyle, what's up? I know you feel bad about what happened to me. We've talked about it. Yeah. But everybody, you and everybody right now are saying that there's a problem to fix. That I got to put my body back into, I got to, I got to, I got to put this body back into that body. Is that what Mm. we're doing? Only if you want to. Uh, like they called me over and it's all been it's all been happening really fast um so i mean kyle this is this is your your future so what what do you want i want to live like this forever okay so you want to keep being exactly as you are yeah. All right, well, we'll make that happen for you, bud. Can you promise my parents? That they're... That they'll stay the same? And we can do what we need to with their bodies. Am I right, officer? And I take my shotgun and go... <laughs> with me. <laughs> if, if it comes down to it, but... This Kyle. Is, I'm happy this way, Reese. Yeah, okay. All right. Things have been moving moving way quicker than I thought. Okay, so Holy shit, is Kyle the one that fell off the cliff? That's what I was about to fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> and Reese is just going to pull you in and he's going to just just hug you. And y- you've got a solid form. Because you allow that to be, it's 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 a role for incorporeal. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> no, it, like you, you, he hugs you, um, because over this amount of time that you've been dead, you've learned to manipulate objects and and to have a solid form or go in, incorporeal or whatever you need to do in the moment. So he just pulls you in and he hugs you and he says, "I'm so sorry, Kyle." I'm so sorry. It was never your fault, Reese. And I forgive you. You've done all you can. But this is my life now. And I'm happy. (sighs) I'm just sorry you can't be a ghost with me. Oh, no, don't say that. I've come close. I've come close a couple of times. You know this, Kyle. We can make it happen, Reese, if you want. One day you can be ghost with me. 
thinking about ghosting off. Make it happen, Reed. Thinking about yeah. Sheila ghost in there right now, but okay. you know, I'll give her some time. I mean, she just came to life like uh, with like a couple of hours yeah, ago. Yeah, I'm a like, litter. I'm a litter. So. litter. I'm a litter. A mm. uh, whole happy life in this realm, yeah. but you know, in this house, it's you know, ghost mm. or out. Okay. Okay, I think I know. We can what... deal with Wayne. We can still yeah. deal with Wayne, but All I'm right. gonna stay a ghost, and I want my parents to live forever. And we're going to watch Bruce Lee movies, Reese. You and I forever. <laughs> you got it, bud. And, and then we uh, high five. Yeah, and then they're, they're, like you guys kind of part, and then just a sick high five. Um, like a predator high five. Oh, no, not predator. Uh, like, no? Uh, okay. No, no, no. What's that movie? Over the top. What's that real homoerotic <laughs> movie? Oh, uh, oh, it's moist, Top Gun. It's a real moist movie, guys. Top Gun? What's that? Top Gun. There you go. It's a real moist movie. Um, we go in for one of those. You're my goose, Reese. <laughs> You're my goose. And, um, absolutely. Uh, Reese is going to, like, uh, call everybody back together. And while that happens, um, like, you guys have gone off during the same time that uh, Kyle and Reese have been talking. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, yeah, you guys go ahead and have that conversation. What's up, Leon? Why'd you pull me away? Do, 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 what's Breathe. the, do, what's the necromancer's name? Wayne. What's our dad's other brother's name? Wayne. Dude, someone who went to school in this town who unexpectedly... Up and left. Uh huh. We gotta call Uncle Wayne right now and get this straightened out. Oh, so you're saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There has to be more than one Wayne that's lived in this town that's left. Um, not someone who's also the exact same age group as our Uncle Wayne. It had. Listen, dude, we're gonna I've got magic. What if it runs in the family? Listen. Okay. You call Wayne. You're closer with him. You call Uncle Wayne. And yes. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Okay. Well, come with me. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. So we hey, y'all. Come on Kyle's back. Room come and... on back downstairs. Can oh, you guys uh, do we'll, a hold on one too? sec. One second. Reese. Officer I'm Reese, that trusts me. Yeah. We go in the into the Kyle's room, mm -hmm. and I lock the door behind me. Okay. And uh, then to walk over to the phone. Holy, is this a rotary phone? <laughs> like, like Kyle's been dead. Uh, man, I don't know. I feel like the fifties. What do you think? Late eighties. So, yeah, but we don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, just... we're just thinking. <laughs> No, no, I'm like, just gonna say, like, if, if it's a ghost living in modern day, they probably died in the 1950s. You think it was like 1910 with the when the Spanish plague hit? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> this house definitely wasn't around that. Anyways, no, shut up, hold on, and I like start to dial the number. It's so funny because he'll have to pull out his cell phone and look up the number. No, we have cell phone. Then... We have servers here. Oh, I thought. Do we have service here? Yeah, you got service at Kyle's house. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna call Uncle Wayne and then put it on speakerphone between the two of us. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how many times he does it. <laughs> Damn it, Uncle Wayne always Boop. never or never has a hey. On this is Wayne. Okay, hey, I'll hang up and I, call again. You know, <laughs> hey, this is Wayne. I'm not here right now. Go ahead and leave a message <laughs> after the beep. I fucking hate. I hate calling. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He just said the F word. He can change something about this scene, right? 
I did say I can never fucking get a hold of him. That's our one F, Mom. That's our one F. You you just activated it, dude, because you said that in character. I can never get I can never fucking get a hold of him. What do you change? Um, I change it so that just as the call goes to voicemail, okay. he looks down and realizes he's missed two calls from me. Okay, so you start to leave a message. What what message are you leaving him? Oh, it's literally just me talking to Gabriel. Like, I can never get a hold of him. He's always okay. so, um, playing a game. Absolutely. Like, you start to, like, just complain to Gabriel about uh, about Wayne never answering his phone. Um, and he says, he like, you hear, like, a, a, like a receiver hang-up phone. Like, he picks that up and he, he like, says, Oh, hey, Preston, um... Yeah, I, sorry. I, you know, I always scream my calls. I like, what's going on? Oh, hey. Did hey, you hey, leave hey, something hey. or what's up? No, I have another Hi, question that I need. Oh, yeah. Gabriel's here with me. Hey, Gabe. Hey. Hey, so we have a really serious question that we need to ask you. And you remember how you always tell us that, like, we can come to you with any question or problem. And you'll help I mean, us figure 100%, it out. 100%, buddy. What's going on? Just talk to me. What's up? Hey. Um, Let me ask you first. Do magic? Um, he didn't mean that. Listen, do you know, do you know I'm only you? asking. I'm only asking because my wand. Is, my wand started working, and I just realized that maybe it's like a family thing. He's gonna say, like, you're gonna hear just this long silence over the phone. He's gonna say. I'm trying to decide whether or not this is a prank call. Have you ever heard of the organization called Reed? <laughs> he like slaps it. Or he like slaps Gabriel like shh no, you shut up. <laughs> and Wayne is going to You hear like a hard swallow and How do you know? about Reed. Listen, Uncle Wayne, we've been killing monsters for a couple months now. Gabriel just got bit by a zombie. A magical zombie. And they say it's you that made that. Damn it, man. Don't you have any, like... We're trying to keep our cards close to the vest. He's our family! You guys hear him hang up. (sighs) Yeah, he's our family, but he's the one who sent the zombies to this town. We didn't know that for sure. What if Reese was I mean, lying to us? What if what if Miss Schultz was lying to us? Listen, listen. listen. No, you listen. If he can do magic, yeah. he can be here right now. Magic. I know that because I can do magic. We have to go. Listen, Miss Schultz and Reese have been telling us as little information as they can this entire time, just trying to scoot us along and doing what they want us to do. Can't hear it. Nothing. Can't hear you. Uh, I get the effect. It's knock, knock, knock. Yeah, you guys. You guys hear knocking on the door. Listen, Gabriel. I don't know who we can trust right now. We need to run. Fiddlers, it's Malcolm. It, it's either our family who's going to be after us, or who can help us, or it's going to be the Reed people when they find out that we're related to Wayne. I'm magical just like he is. Maybe this has all been some sort of long con to like get me to kill him, or to kill me before I can turn out like him. Leon's scared. What, 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 do we, what do we do about this Malcolm? What do we do about Malcolm? He's at the door right now. What do we do about him? We, we go out the window. No, listen, listen. Okay. If we run right now, if we run right now, then they'll know something's up. Okay. Let's let's listen. act. Let's let, let, take my lead. They already think you're kind of like in in a weird state because of the Mountain Dew and the the, the video games Gabriel, and all I'm that. Throw up. 
that's normal for somebody coming off a caffeine high. He and you're like sweating straight Mountain Dew right now. You're, Come you're, on, yeah. you're, he, he lurches over to the corner and starts throwing up on the carpet. Oh. It's just, it's just In my room? Listen, I, I, <laughs> listen, like, come on, we gotta, we gotta go. And then he, Ugh. Gabriel's gonna grab Leon's arm and like drag him to the front door. Hey, Malcolm, how's it going? Uh, I, I got, I got a, I got a, I got a brain thing. I got, uh, it's, what's the, this the, uh, it's that there, um, hmm, the, what do you call it? The, um, the headache oh, with oh. pictures. Okay. An idea. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about your idea later. Um, uh, Reese called for us right before we finish, finish our conversation. We got to go talk to mm-hmm. Reese real quick. Yep, come down, come, come, come in, come in, come in to get you. Th- and thank you very much. Thank you very much. And he's, he's, you guys are gonna go head downstairs. Yep. Okay. And Malcolm's I'm gonna, gonna follow stumble downstairs with him dragging me along. Gotcha. Um, he's really not feeling all that well, guys. I mean, yeah, that's Maybe understandable. It was too much Mountain Dew and then too much magic. Yeah, uh, he'll be all right though. Okay. Oh, uh, um, what you what you need? So, um, in all of this, um, it it kind of um, we all kind of got swept up in things and um, forgot to ask Kyle his opinion and and what he wants to do. So, apparently, Kyle would prefer to stay. As he is, and his his family would also like to stay as they are. So, the next thing we gotta do. Yeah, why why were you looking for your body back, Kyle? Just wanted to see what it felt like again. And then, maybe the chance, the prospect of growing old. And then you turned my parents into humans, too. And it got too real. I want my parents to live forever! I wanted to grow up and get older and experience things, knowing fully well I could throw myself back into the quarry if I want to ghost out again. We don't know how many times I could ghost. We, uh... And now it's been soiled. I was just trying to help you. Now we have bodies in my house that I will have to dispose of should they turn evil. Did you see K2? He tried to eat my stuffed animal. Um, oh, well, I'm busy now. Kyle, uh, Kyle, as as a friend, stop it, K two. As a friend, Kyle. Um, a couple couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, you helped us kill something that was possessing a house. You remember that? Yes, yes, I was there. I and became ordained. Became ordained. You did. You did. Um, what's to stop you from that happening to you? From possessing a house? From turning evil. From turning a little girl evil? I didn't, I'm not you're, evil. You're not evil now, but what happens in 100 years? 200 years? Oh, I'm, years. No, I'm good. See, um, there's okay. a fine line between... I'm sure Malcolm could explain this to you, and you don't want the Malcolm explanation. I guarantee it. Okay. But I walk in the path of the light. And now, with Lord on my side... Kyle is a different different entity he's he's stable is as as best as i can i can muster uh i've got no entropy he's he was brought <laughs> back by, i've got none he was brought back we don't, we don't really know what it was that brought him back but he's stable he's been here and he's been exactly the same Oh, All my electron shells are filled. <laughs> I can throw one electron away and go through this wall right now. Well, if that's what you want to do, then I guess the I'll... opportunity to live my life forever with my parents, forever. And uh, do you know how good movies and TV has gotten <laughs> in the last forty years? But then you... living the dream, baby. But haven't so, you gotten close to anybody and they died? Well, I, I've got Reese here. He's not dead yet, but I mean, what? I've told him. What I've happens when he When the time comes. But what what happens when he dies and doesn't become a ghost and you're here alone? Or when we die? Of, why do you think I hang alone? out at the middle school? It's a little creepy. Y'all get older New and I stay the same day. age. Oh, God. That's very creepy. 
I just made Oh, me. God, no. I was on board with the whole thing until you said that. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, all right. my I get to keep, keep being friends with people in my own age group. And also, they keep, like, uh, like technology just keeps getting cooler. Have you guys played Fortnite? It's amazing. <laughs> like, I grew no, up on Pong. My job is to... <laughs> Carry on, read. Read. <laughs> Sorry. You've made a mockery of Kyle. I grew up with Pong. It's so much better. <laughs> that was it. That was all I had. <laughs> now I have a Nintendo 3DS. Well. Uh, um, but my job is to keep up Reed, so when Miss <gasps> Schultz and Officer Reese... That's why Kyle wanna, was I, in the library. You don't want to feel love, or...? Oh, I have plenty of love. From whom? My ghost mom and ghost dad. I'm, I'm talking like sex. real love. Don't you want like, to have sex? Like having kids and having, make, getting married and... I have no interest sex. in women. Than sex. I have no interest in women. You can have sex with men too. I have no yeah. interest in men. It's 2021. We're not judging you. <laughs> the carnal desires do not mean anything to me. I have my entire, I have all of eternity to master the blade. <laughs> do you guys oh, know so I got my GED problem. online? I can do anything I want. I'm a licensed therapist. How do you think I've made it through with, with Paul G. Naimani? <laughs> Hey. Ghost Amati, please. Ghost Jeez. With. B Paul, Genie Paul Genie Muddy. Paul Genie. Paul Genie Muddy. Genie Genie yeah. Paul. I have. <laughs> I can do everything I want as a ghost. And if I want okay. to pass on. No, you see, what this is, this is just a classic example of miscommunication in a group. You know, I saw your actions and I interpreted them one way, and I should have. I should have come to you and. Ask you what you want. That, I appreciate that. Thank, wow. You should apply for your therapist license, too. That being said, why did we? Why did you let us waste a wish on this shit? Like, why didn't you, you well, tell us that before? You got yeah. five wishes between you guys. I've Dude, got I could have had a real oh, dragon. Hold on, I, I have two wishes left? But the rule's like everybody gets like three wishes or some shit. I don't know. Paul Genie yeah, Monty. Everybody Paul, gets three. Paul, Paul Genie Monty. Holy okay. shit, yeah. I have another wish for Yo, you. what's up, bud? And since I created this mess, I'll fix this mess. I wish that Kyle's parents' bodies and his body is returned to their grave or their resting place. It return to the state that they were in before your first wish. Return to the state they were... Nope, that's what I said. I said what I said. Kyle goes and hides under a desk because he's not sure what is going to happen. Um, <laughs> Kyle's, uh, you, you know how like there were urns on, on the mantle, that oh, shattered. No. Are my parents just dust piles on a mantle? No, 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 no. It's way worse. So, uh, the two empty-headed vessels that look like Kyle's parents. Um, yeah, they, they were like the two vessels that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. they, <laughs> um, the shell of Al and Peggy. Yeah. Uh, they stand up and they, uh, pick up the, the pieces of urn and they place them back on the mantle and then, uh, and then they, they kind of just like, like the, the urns kind of and reform and in a swirl of, of smoke, a just very faint fog, they're returned to ash in their, uh, in their urns on the mantle. No mess. No, no, nothing like that. Everything's good. Uh, your mom is Kate still uh, about to make dinner. Uh, K2 doesn't go anywhere. Jesus Christ. K2 doesn't. Ha K2 didn't have a resting place. 
I scribble down the notes again. What does K2 do? Does he is he dry bones again? No, K2 is K2 is unaffected. Ah. All right, guys, can we make a promise that all future wishes will not involve me or my parents' dead bodies? No promises, honestly. Yeah, can't promise that. Can't promise that. Oh, no. Oh, okay. like, I mean, you know us. Oh. I don't know why you asked that question. Oh. So K2 is unaffected. So two of the right, three, Sheila. those check my marks are, are off. Uh, their parents are dead. with. my parents die again? Jesus. No, All your right, parents, Sheila? your dad, your dad comes up from the basement and, and, and like, he's like, I was just uh, down in my den, uh, building a computer. Uh, what's going on up here? Uh, dinner's I'm about to be ready. Anybody want to sit down and, and have a meal? I have suffered so much. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there are enough plates set out on For the everybody. dining room table that everybody can just like, everybody go ahead and fix your plate. And yeah. Get down here, Paul. Get some snacks. Oh, Paul's the first one in line with a plate. He's like, Sheila's I haven't eaten real food in so long. Sheila, watch K2. Make sure he doesn't choke. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Don't me let and, him bite you. Leon and I have to go. Our parents, or his parents, his mom's coming back from the airport. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we got to go. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take the genie with me, so that or the, the bottle with me. Um so that we can discuss okay. my three wishes. All right. Later. So you can stay and eat. Uh, Paul is like, okay, we got uh, we got three here, we got two here, we got one for Kyle. Not sure where he's gonna put that. Um, now just to let you guys know, these wishes are not obligated. I am under no. I'm a free genie. Just so like I'm a doing you agent. because you guys helped save my life. I'm paying it back to you guys in favors i just need you guys to know that like okay. if i don't feel so like doing I, something i'm not wanna... fucking doing it okay that's that's perfectly okay do you want to leave the do you want to you want to leave your home here and then like can, can you come up, yeah i mean come home later? Yeah, you guys can come swing back around for me like i'm gonna i'm gonna stay here and and chow down because i haven't eaten i haven't eaten real food in like 400 years this is amazing sounds great <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy your food. Thank you. It Just is, uh... brush up at, on what a Lamborghini is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look up what Lamborghini translates to. Like, I mean, I mean the car. We're I would like to own a Lamborghini. Alright, you get a, a, I don't know, it's a random translation of the word lion's taint or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So I think for the for the night we're gonna end it here. Okay. Uh, so everyone is having, except for uh, the two that are just taken off. Uh, everyone's having a real nice meal. Um, I mean, ghosts can eat. Yeah, I'm I'm corporeal. I just I choose when I'm incorporeal. Yeah. According to my exactly my playbook. So Mostly Kyle is I'm a different a kind of ghost. I'm Two special. fantastic special reveals ghost. in this episode. Uh, well, three fantastic reveals. Kyle's a ghost. I, uh, Leon's got an uncle that's a necromancer, or Le- Leon and Gabriel both have an uncle that's a necromancer. And three, uh, Paul Giniamati uh, was 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 a fantastic reveal as well. <laughs> All right, I. Uh, Everyone, thank you so very much for being here and, and for taking part. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye.